four minutes till start of broadcast. This broadcast will begin in three minutes. Here's your two minute time check. Mark. Here comes your one minute time check for this Auburn broadcast. Mark. Thirty seconds till broadcast. Mark. One more game until the Christmas break. A chance to spend time with family and friends. One more piece of business tonight, though. Auburn looks for its ninth win of the season against a foe just down the road. Good evening and War Eagle from Devil Arena. With eight-time Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith and Brad Law, I'm Andy Bertram. Sunday in front of another packed house, Auburn dominated USC. The Tiger point guard tandem of Aiden Holloway 
and Trey Donaldson were better than the Trojans' highly touted playmakers. As a matter of fact, you can say that in Auburn's last three games. Holloway and Donaldson have combined for 78 points, 25 assists, and only a pair of turnovers. Alabama State comes down I-85 with a 4-6 and six mark. The Hornets are led by a former Auburn assistant coach in Tony Madlock. His son is Bama State's top scorer, TJ, who grew up in Auburn, averages 16 points, nearly five rebounds, and two and a half assists per game. He's joined in the backcourt by C.J. Hines and Isaiah Range. The trio has combined for 43 pointers this season. One more game before family and friends and the Christmas break. The CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off starts now. Exclusive pregame coverage of the Tigers begins now with the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off. Coming up, analysis, interviews, and a look around college basketball. At CBNS Bank, we've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Visit cbsbank.com. Alongside Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith, here's the voice of the Tigers, Andy Burcham. Welcome back to Neville Arena. Final game before the Christmas break, and tonight it's Auburn and Alabama State. Medical report brought to you by East Alabama Health. Their team of first responders are proud to provide first aid care at every Auburn athletic event. Unfortunately, our health report tonight deals with Sonny Smith, who just can't speak. He is completely hoarse. He is here. Love you, Sonny, but uh, Sonny just cannot speak tonight, so Brad Law is going to fill in on the analysis here tonight. And, and for Auburn, and, and Bruce Pearl talked about this today in film study. He talked about this with his team at the shoot-around today. Brad, he wants his team to want this game more than Alabama State, and that's saying something because you know this game is very important for the Hornets here tonight. Really brilliant move by your producer to put the medical report right there before the Coach Smith announcement. That's right. Um, yeah, this is Auburn has played really clean basketball the last four times out, three of those with single-digit turnovers. They're sharing the ball well, all elements of a clean, crisp style of play, and uh, the coaches would love to see that again tonight in this final game before a few days break. Auburn will get a couple days. Next up is uh, the third. 30th against the Chattanooga Ball Club, then Auburn plays Penn, and then the start of Southeastern Conference play in early January at Arkansas. All right, it is a busy night across the country and across the SEC, and Brad Law again now <laughs> with our pregame report. Go ahead, Bradford. You got it, Andy. Five other SEC teams in action tonight, and there's an early trend that we'd like to see continue inside Neville Arena. From the home of the five-time conference champions to every corner of the SEC, Let's go around the most exciting conference in college basketball. This is the Toyota SEC Report. No matter your destination, Toyota goes with you. Toyota, let's go places. One game in progress, two finals, and in all three games, the SEC team built a double-digit halftime lead. South Carolina leads Elon now in the second half, 55-38 to 38 in Columbia, six and a half minutes to go there. Earlier tonight in Athens, Georgia got out to a 16-point halftime lead over North Florida. Bulldogs went on to win it 78-60, to 60, and Florida tonight in Gainesville routed Grambling 96-57. to 57. Gators led by 17 at the break. So Tigers would love to see that continue and uh, build a hefty little halftime lead here as well. Later tonight, Texas A&M will host Houston Christian. And the big one in the uh, league, the spotlight will be in uh, St. Louis where Missouri meets number 13 Illinois Tigers bidding for the upset. That'll be an 8 o'clock Central Time start. It's time for What's on the Menu. That's presented by Whataburger. It's buttery, it's flaky, it's perfectly spicy. It is finally back or here. If you've never tried one, I had one this morning, as a matter of fact, with a sausage, egg, and cheese. It is the Whataburger Jalapeno Cheddar Biscuit, and it's available at participating locations. Try it alone or in a biscuit sandwich. Served 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. Maddox Jeffries, Auburn's Director of Operations, will join us in a program profile. Plus, we get a 60-second scout of Alabama State from uh, Auburn assistant Chad Pruitt. Plus, we'll get keys to the game and our exclusive pregame sit-down with head coach Bruce Pearl. All coming up as we count you down to Auburn and Alabama State. The CBNS Bank countdown to tip-off continues in a moment. 
CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs for generations. You can say we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Being a team player is part of our culture. That's why at CBNS Bank, we are proud supporters and huge fans of Auburn basketball. Whoa, Regal, hey! Visit cbsbank.com today. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. People take their chili seriously. At Whataburger, we also put chili on a pedestal. A pedestal made of 100% fresh beef. The Whataburger Chili Cheeseburger, made to order with our own chili on two all-beef patties, melty cheese, onions, mustard, and crunchy corn chips. This is chili elevated to burger height. The Chili Cheeseburger is back for a limited time. Whataburger, just like you like it. Thinking of advancing your career with a master's degree in business? If so, consider the graduate degree choices at Auburn University's Harbert College of Business. Ranked among the nation's best, we offer full-time and online programs in finance, supply chain management, information systems, accounting, and business administration. Learn more at harbert.auburn.edu. Yellowwood knows that a five-star backyard is the place to make lasting memories. Like roasting marshmallows on a cool fall night. That's it. Turn it nice and slow. Get it toasted all... Oh, no, it's on fire. Oh, you want it on fire. Okay, that's a choice, I guess. Hmm, crunchy. For five-star backyards and the most memorable experiences, Yellowwood brand pressure-treated pine. If it doesn't have that yellow tag, you don't want it. You're listening to Auburn Basketball. Now more of the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off. All right, coming up on about 20 minutes before tip, 2022 or so between Auburn and Alabama State. And just because the weather is turning chilly soon doesn't mean Alabama farmers aren't busy growing high-quality products. Visit sweetgrownalabama.org and make your next Tigers watch party a slam dunk. Find farm-fresh greens, meats, and more at sweetgrownalabama.org. Alabama State comes in here at 4-6 and six on the season. They've already faced the likes of Ole Miss, Iowa, Memphis, just uh, and LSU. And their most recent matchup was against USC. The Hornets dropped that decision at home to the Trojans 79-59 to uh, Tuesday evening. It is a talented Hornets team. It's a team finding its way under second-year coach and former Auburn assistant Tony Madlock. Here with a 60-second scout of Alabama State is Auburn assistant Chad Pruitt. You know, it's a team, I think they're, they're four and six on the year, but have three really good guards. I think their guards are going to test us. They're quick. They're athletic. They get downhill right. And you go back and look over the time, you know, downhill right-hand drivers have bothered us. And so we put a lot of emphasis on us this week. Uh, we're excited. I think they're going to be super excited. T.J. Matlock coming back. His dad obviously coached here years ago. T.J. Matlock's a very, very good guard that's going to give us some problems. But we've worked hard on keeping those guys in front. Uh, we got to contain them, challenge the jump shot, go rebound and run. What do you expect defensively from the Hornets? They mix it up a lot. Uh, they'll play some man-to-man, -man, they'll play some 2-3 zone, they'll play some 1-3-1 one, one zone. They, they kind of junk it up. Um, and Coach Matlock's done a really good job with this group. They played hard. Even I mean, They've played five power power five teams. Um, so it's one of, those, one of those nights where we're going to have to show up from the beginning, match their energy. Uh, I'd love to see a track man. I told Coach I'd love to see us get up and down with them. They like to run. We like to run. We're better in transition than they are. Alabama State averages better than 73 points per game. They have given up 75 and a half points per contest. The 60-second scout presented by the Raymond J. Harbert College of Business, home to seven top 25 programs in the U.S. News and World Report rankings. Harbert, inspiring business. Time for a program profile, and tonight that spotlight is on Auburn's Director of Operations, Maddox Jeffries. A lifelong Auburn fan is in his eighth year with the program. He holds two degrees from Auburn. Maddox is in charge or, or assists with team travel, daily scheduling, analytics, and even scouting. Andy Burcham visits now with Maddox Jeffries in tonight's program profile. Take us through a game day for these guys, start to finish. So they'll, you know, wake up, classes if they have it. When we're in, if we're out of classes, we'll have breakfast for the guys. Then about five and a half hours before tip off, we'll get together and we'll have our shoot around. 
pregame meal four hours before tip, got, get the guys off their feet, let them go back to their room, and then hour and a half, we're back here, ready to go, start warm-ups an hour out. Talk about the, the change in your duties from last year to this year, because I know this year it's also the travel part. Yeah, you know, the more responsibility. It's been great working with Coach Pruitt and Coach Burgomaster. They've been helping me kind of lead me through uh, all the talking to bus drivers and hotels and flights and kind of everything that goes on behind the scenes to get us ready to play. And, and there's a lot of it that goes on that, that folks probably don't even realize. And no doubt about it. All the food and BEOs and bus drivers and it's everything. It, it takes an army and I got great help. Good stuff there from Auburn's Director of Operations, Maddox Jeffries. SeatGeek, now the official ticketing partner of Auburn Athletics. So whether you're buying football tickets, selling football tickets, basketball tickets, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek, so Tiger fans can fan. It's Auburn and Alabama State tonight from Neville Arena. Crowd is filing in as uh, we are a little more than 16 minutes away from tonight's opening tip. When we come back, the voice of the Tigers talks it over with the head coach, Andy Bircham and BP, coming your way next. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Playfly. Southeastern Industrial Contractors offers the path to a productive and successful career for hard workers of all ages, especially young people looking to jump straight into the workforce. Southeastern Industrial Contractors is now hiring for great paying skilled trade positions. Managing partner Derek Harville is a proud Auburn University graduate with deep roots in the community. Give him a call at 334-209-6355 to learn more. Southeastern Industrial Contractors, 334-209-6355. Earn more on your balances with the Max Elevate Money Market. Enjoy the competitive rate benefits of certificate accounts with no fixed terms and more flexibility. Earn more on your balances and access them anytime. You expect more and Max delivers. See our amazing rates at mymax.com slash elevate. Max, smart money made simple. Federally insured by NCUA. Certain restrictions apply. Need great gifts for your family, friends, clients, and colleagues? You have to try Buff City Soap. Their soap, oils, body butters, bath bombs, candles, wax melts, and laundry soaps are delightful. Pick from a variety of handmade goodies with plant-based ingredients that delight your skin and smell wonderful. See PartyWithBuff.com to schedule your party or visit BuffCitySoap.com to check out their many alternatives. Try the free short-term parking at the 320 West Magnolia Avenue building in downtown Auburn and fall in love with Buff City Soap. Life isn't made for joint or orthopedic pain. It's made for living, for family, for your favorite hobbies, for sports, for morning walks and afternoon playing in the park. If you suffer from joint or orthopedic pain, turn to the experts at the Orthopedic Clinic. Our board-certified surgeons provide cutting-edge surgical procedures and high-quality, innovative services all close to home. Don't let joint or orthopedic pain keep you from doing all the things you love. Visit theorthoclinic.com and schedule an appointment today. Ford presents our exclusive pre-game visit with head coach Bruce Pearl. Great things are possible when you have the power, performance, and smart features of a Ford F-150, the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Greatness starts at your local Ford dealer. Here's Andy Burcham with Coach Pearl. One more game before the Christmas break. Let's talk about focus and, and, and playing with excitement here tonight, Coach. Well, I mean, one of the things I asked our guys to do is we've got to be the more excited team to play. And that's going to be hard because this was Alabama State's one of their last chances at a high major upset. They've already played Ole Miss close. They played LSU close. They had a lead at halftime. They played Memphis close at Memphis. Um, you know, they've gone to Iowa. Um, they played USC at home and outplayed them in the second half uh, this week. Um, and um, we know the history of the SWAC and the history of having, you know, some high major upsets. So obviously being excited about playing. Um, and then also just seeing if we can continue to get better. Can we continue to do the things we're doing defensively, turning people over, take care of the ball? Uh, and tonight, one of the great challenges is going to be one-on-one -on -one defense and getting back in transition. The play of your two point guards in the last three games since the App State game. I mean, very few turnovers. They play very unselfish, and they've also been very productive from an offensive standpoint. Yeah, the numbers are staggering as far as their assist turnover ratio and their shooting percentages. Um, and, and considering it's the youngest 
position on the floor for us with with, with uh, Trey being a sophomore and Aiden being a freshman. So we are getting good point guard play. Um, and, and, and the key is uh, those guys pushing the break, trusting the advance pass, get that bound down the floor a little bit, see if we can skirt early in offense. And then the guys down there not taking advantage of uh, the situation and only attacking with numbers. Uh, and if we don't have numbers, get the ball back to the point guard and let's run something. So taking advantage of the break and the transition and opportunities. But then when all five guys are back, recognize we need to run uh, some offense with a set spacing timing to get us a good look and good offensive rebounding position. Film study today, you told the guys to remain unselfish, not only offensively, but defensively. What does that mean from a defensive standpoint? Well, I mean, you got to give up. Uh, you know, it's like, like football you play. There are guys that play offense, there are guys that play defense. In basketball, they got to play both ways, right? And so if you want to be really good offensively, sometimes guys tend to rest on the defensive end, not extend catches, not stay down in their stance, uh, you know, just be late to certain things because it requires great effort and energy to guard like we want to guard. And that's ultimately being unselfish because that's defense is very much a team uh, uh, game. So, uh, again, that's that's what our focus is tonight. Can we, can we get back in transition? Can we guard one-on-one? -on -one? Can we get them to – settle for tough twos instead of getting to the rim. This team is really, really good, especially their guards. Getting downhill, scoring through contact, um, and um, and that'll be obviously a challenge for our guards. The last time our guards got outplayed was Appalachian State, and that game we got beat. Look, at this Alabama State, and you mentioned how well they get to the rim, and yet they, they will shoot the three, and they shoot it well from the perimeter. Yeah, they've made eight a game, and they got 11 guys that have taken more than one a game. And so they, they play with the freedom. Uh, Tony Matlock is their coach, and he was here at Auburn under Coach Barbie, and uh, his son is their best player, and he probably grew up in this gym. And uh, uh, you know, this is going to be a, a, a nice homecoming for them. And uh, you know, we're playing. Uh, we've played some in-state teams this year in the non-conference, uh, both in the exhibition season as well now uh, during regular season, and and uh, we recognize uh, uh, typically there's not a lot to gain. There's a lot to gain with this one tonight. Uh, Alabama State plays man, they play zone, they press, they do a lot of different things. Um, and their personnel, uh, as far as their ability to get downhill and make me one -on -one, tough one-on-one -on -one covers, reminds me a lot of our first two SEC opponents, Arkansas and Texas A&M. So it'll be, good, it'll be a good prep for that. Can you get out? Can you run against this team tonight? Absolutely. Yep. They, they, they're, they're better offensively in transition than they are defensively. We will look to try to get out and go. Let's talk about a couple keys. Let's start. Let's start from a defensive standpoint tonight against this Alabama State offense. Well, just make them take contested jump shots. Don't give them open threes. Build a wall. You know, get get our bodies between their bodies. Get behind the ball. Uh, make sure they see bodies, not wood and ten eyes. And um, and then you know, offensively, uh, just continue to make shots. Continue to share the ball. Continue to have a mixture between good inside and good outside offense. Show the best tonight, War Eagle. War Eagle. Hey, it's Bruce Pearl. When you find a player who's electric, what a game changer. Like the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning truck. It's got the performance you'd expect from an F-150, plus state-of-the-art tech like intelligent backup power. So if the lights go out at your properly equipped house, you've got the power to turn them back on. Game changing. That's what I'm talking about. See your local Ford dealer to learn more about the F-150 Lightning. Available at Ford EV certified dealers only. Some models, trims, and features may not be available and may be subject to change. Jim Gaffigan here with some more Straight Talk. Now you can get a Walmart Plus membership, plus not pay for it, because it's included with Straight Talk wireless plans. You get free delivery with Walmart Plus, plus a Paramount Plus subscription included. Plus, you pay less for gas. That's a lot of pluses. Only Straight Talk gives you unlimited 5G data and Walmart Plus included on select plans for free. Straight Talk wireless, available at Walmart. Requires service on gold or platinum unlimited. One offer per eligible account. Paramount Plus essential plan only. Separate registration required. Additional terms apply. War Eagle, it's a great day for Auburn Tigers to get vaccinated. Many children and adults that delayed vaccinations during the pandemic are still behind schedule. It's crucial that we take steps to get everyone back on track with their routine immunizations. Children and teens can still catch up on their vaccinations even if they start late. Make sure you and your family are all up to date on all recommended vaccines, including COVID-19 and flu. Let's all do our part to get back on track. Don't wait, vaccinate. For more information, visit alabamapublichealth.gov forward slash IMM. 
of Auburn is happy to connect the Kia brand to the Auburn fans. Our winning lineup has something for everyone at almost any budget. SUVs like the Telluride, Sorento, and Sportage. You prefer a sedan? Check out the Rio, Forte, Soul, or the Sporty Stinger. And don't forget our new multi-purpose vehicles, the Carnival, or our amazing hybrid or electric vehicles. Kia of Auburn is a proud supporter of Auburn Athletics. Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. Whoa, Rico. You're listening to Auburn Basketball. Now more of the CBNS Bank Countdown to Tip-Off. Welcome back to Neville Arena. Auburn and Alabama State final game before the Christmas break for the Tigers. Chattanooga and Penn before Auburn opens up SEC play at Arkansas in early January. Kills, uh, the coaches' keys to the game presented by Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. Typically, we would be talking with the Hall of Fame coach Sonny Smith tonight, but Sonny has lost his voice. So, Brad Law, tell me, your coach's keys to tonight's ball game. Defense without fouling. Hey, it's a good one. Defense without fouling. <laughs> and <laughs> Thank you, Coach. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, I think continuing to play clean basketball, to get up and down the floor. Auburn has two of the top 12 in the SEC in assists. It's two point guards, Aiden Holloway and Trey Donaldson, both in the top 12 in assists per game. You share the ball, you make that Alabama State defense move, you get them out of position, and that leads to higher quality shots. Tigers have certainly done that the last three games. You look at Auburn's last loss, that's Appalachian State. That was a game that Aiden Hottaway did not score a field goal yeah. in. Boy, but boy, has he responded, and so has Trey Donaldson in the three games since. No question. Auburn at the one and the five has been awfully strong most times this season. That five spot's big again tonight. They've got Okan, the, the big center from Nigeria, 7 1, 230. Uh, he's averaging six and a half rebounds a game. That's fourth in the SWAC. As a team, Andy, Alabama State is rebounding, it's, uh, is out rebounding its opponents. It's averaging better than 42 rebounds per game. So it's on the plus side of rebounding. Auburn's bigs um, will we'll need to rebound effectively tonight. You've got to maintain your position. Do you know that the same people who installed the sound system at Neville Arena are also available for your next special event? Auburn AV can handle any size event. Visit auburnav.com to see all of their audio video solutions. Stay tuned. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Playfly. A limited number of men's basketball single game tickets are still available. Don't miss the exhilarating action at Neville Arena as Bruce Pearl and the Tigers play in the most electric atmosphere in college basketball. Fill the jungle during holiday breaks when Auburn hosts Alabama A&M, Alabama State, Chattanooga, and Penn. Tickets start as low as $30. Visit AUBTIX.com to make sure you're there to witness Auburn men's basketball at Neville Arena. That's AUBTIX.com. Are you looking to advance your career without putting your life on hold? Consider the flexibility of an online MBA at Auburn University's Harvard College of Business. Ranked among the nation's best by U.S. News and World Report, our 100% online MBA program provides the flexibility you need to pursue a degree while maintaining your personal and professional life. Learn more at harvard.auburn.edu. The game has changed, and the future of Auburn athletics now demands a strong NIL program. I'm Jason Campbell. Let's come together, Auburn family, and make a lasting impact. Visit ontovictory.com. Every dollar you contribute to On to Victory helps create NIL opportunities for our student athletes. Visit www.ontovictory.com and be a part of changing the game for Auburn athletics. CBNS Bank has a long history of stability and a legacy of serving our community's needs for generations. You could say we know a thing or two about tradition. We've been family, community, and financially strong since we began in 1906. Being a team player is part of our culture. That's why at CBNS Bank, we are proud supporters and huge fans of Auburn basketball. Whoa, Regal, hey! Visit cbsbank.com today. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. We're counting down to the opening tip. Time to introduce the starting five. Holloway crossover dribble. Once a screen from Cardwell uses it. Down the lane to the hole, up in. Top of the circle, Holloway, three. Switch! Great Aiden. ball movement. Aiden Holloway, Charlotte, North Carolina, prolific prep. Off 
the left side. Denver Jones three. Yes! All right. Kicks it to the corner. Three ball. Denver yeah. good! Oh, well played! Denver Jones, Newmark, Alabama, Bokoran High School. Free throw line, Jalen. Head big up on the run. Yes. Yes! yes. Good play. pass, Jalen. Open three ball. Switch! Jalen Williams. Nay Hunter, Georgia, Brantley County High School. Rebound, Moore goes up and scores! Chris Moore with the foot. No look underneath. Moore with the two hands. Underneath for Chris Moore. Up with a right hand. Yes! Chris Moore, West Memphis, Arkansas. Academies of West Memphis. Head fake and three by Broom. He chants it. A left hand hammer by Janai against Left Robert. wing Broom. Three ball, Janai. It's yeah. good! Janai Broom, Plant City, Florida, Tampa Catholic. The starting lineups have been presented by Great Southern Wood, makers of yellow wood brand pressure-treated pine. If it doesn't have that yellow tag, you don't want it. Auburn is 8-2 and two on the season. The Tigers are number 20 in the NCAA net, number 7 in the Ken Palm Pole. Bruce Pearl in his 10th season at Auburn. A record of 181 and 113 in his 29th season overall. The record is 643 and 258. Alabama State comes to town four and six on the season. Tony Madlock played with Penny Hardaway at Memphis, or graduated from what it was then Memphis State in 1991 in his second season at uh, Alabama State. He's 12 and 29, fourth season as a head coach. The record is 28 and 49. Chris Hines at the point, 6'2 grad student from Atlanta. 12 points, three rebounds, 3.8 assists. TJ Madlock on one wing, 6'3 junior from Memphis, transferred from South Carolina State, and the son of the head coach, a team leading 16.2 points, 4.8 rebounds, 2.5 assists. Isaiah Range on the other wing, 6'4, 215 pound senior from Cedar Hill, Texas, a transfer from Tarleton State, 12 points and a three rebounds. Micah Octave gets the start at the four, a 6'5 junior from Boca Return, Florida, transferred in from Indian River College, four points, three point seven rebounds, and a Bong Okan at the center, a 7'1 junior from Aqua Ibom, Nigeria, 2.4 points, but 6.6 rebounds for the transfer from Georgia Highlands. So it is Hines, Madlock, Range, Octave, and Okan for Alabama State for Auburn, Holloway, Jones, Moore, Williams, and Broom. As we pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Auburn Sports Network. Tonight's officials, Chuck Jones, Tony Green, and Brian Dorsey tonight. As Auburn gets set to face Alabama State and Bruce Pearl very pointedly in both the pregame film session that I'm privileged to be able to, to sit in on and then again at the shoot around and I'm sure he talked to him in the pregame in the locker room as well Brad he said listen you guys need to be more excited about playing Alabama State than Alabama State is playing here yeah. tonight against Auburn and that's saying something you know this is a big game for the Hornets. And, and that's the kind of thing, Andy, that is evident in the first couple of minutes. If we see the effort and the intensity out of Auburn that we saw against USC, that we've seen in these games of late, that's a good sign. That's what some other teams in the league we talked about during the SEC report. Fast starts throughout the league tonight, and Auburn needs to be the next one to do that. Again, let, let me repeat that the, the, the reason that Brad is on the call with me tonight and not Sonny Smith. Sonny is here. He's Sitting to my right, waved everybody, Sonny. Yeah, <laughs> Sonny just has completely lost his voice tonight. So we look forward to Sonny be back on the 30th as Brad fills in for me in the Chattanooga game on the Auburn Sports Network. And a reminder, your schedules will indicate that that was set to be an afternoon game. That is now an eight o'clock start on the 30th, Chattanooga in town. And uh, Brad and Sonny will have pregame programming. Jacob Hillman will join, and that broadcast on the Auburn Sports Network will start at 7.30. So it's a doubleheader day on the 30th with the Music City Bowl and our pregame coverage starting at or starting at 10. That's right, at 10. Yeah. 
And then Auburn basketball that night with pregame coverage at 7.30. The, the real star that day is Quinn Brackeen, who's going to pull double duty Woo! in the Skyview Auburn Sports Network studios. Happy New Year, Quinn. <laughs> it's a long day. <laughs> long day. All right. Auburn in the home. White uniforms tonight, tops and bottoms, with the blue numerals and lettering and the orange trim. And uh, Alabama State in road grays tonight with black trim, gold lettering, and... Uh, numerals as well. Again, our officials, Chuck Jones, Tony Green, and Brian Dorsey. Auburn's final game before the Christmas break. This is the sixth Power Five opponent this season for Alabama State. Five Power Five opponents, including Tuesday night. They got got jumped on pretty good early yeah. against USC. Actually outplayed USC in the second half. That game was in Montgomery at the Akadome. Before we start, what a crowd tonight. Yeah. This is this is three days before Christmas, the holiday crowd. A lot of people were here early. Still people filing in. Not every seat is full yet. Wouldn't surprise me, though, if it is by the time we get into this one a couple of minutes. Aban Oken, the 7-1 junior from Nigeria, jumps it up for Alabama State. Janai Broom for Auburn. There's the tap. It was a... It was not a good throw by the official. We'll get another one. So we'll try this again. Hocon every bit of 7-1, 230, yeah. isn't he? Yes, he is. All right, here we go. Tap controlled by Albert. Tigers basket two. Our left, we're underway at Neville Arena. Aiden Holloway. Top of the circle, Broom around the perimeter. Williams to the left wing, Denver Jones. Inside, gets the ball. Broom, or Williams, is tapped away. And here is Alabama State up the floor. Pick and roll defended beautifully by Hines. He took away the pass on the roll to Jalen. And he has it at the point. Gets a screen from Hawkins. Drives to the hole, put it up. He banked it up and he missed it. Jalen gets the rebound. Outlet, Aiden. Ahead, Chris Moore. One dribble, double hand up. Well, Bruce Pearl said they're better in transition offensively than defensively. Said he wanted to run. Moore snuck behind the defense that time for the easy two. Senior out of West Memphis, Arkansas, gives Auburn a 2 nothing lead. Hines, right wing double team, throws it top of the circle for Octave. Octave hands back to Hines, picked up by Denver Jones. Down the left side, picked up the dribble off the key. Left side on the wing for C.J. Matlock. Four to shoot. Matlock, long three ball, left wing, no. Long rebound, bounces, and now goes out of bounds. Auburn gets it. They defended the shooter well on that play. Denver Jones stuck right with Madlock, forced him into a tougher shot than he would have otherwise had. I think Denver Jones at times is undervalued as yeah, a defender I agree. for the Tigers. Holloway across midcourt, Tigers lead 2-0. 18-47 in the first half of play. Between the circles, Holloway drifts off the right side. Now Jalen. Low post intended for Broom, and it goes out of bounds. And Auburn has two turnovers in its first three trips down the floor. That was a really savvy play by Ocon as Broom was trying to back him down. Ocon actually gave a step, and Janai's momentum went against him. Inbound near to mid to court. Octa brings it up the floor in a hurry on the right wing and dribbles the ball out of bounds. Alabama State only, average, uh, only averages 11 turnovers a game. That was just an unforced one there. Holloway was close, but that's an unforced turnover. 18-33 in the first half, 2-0, Tigers on top. Holloway, Broom at the point. Off the right side, Williams, now to Holloway outside the arc. Long, three ball, Aiden, bank missed. Rebound tapped by Moore, but it goes out of bounds. Both teams a little rusty to open it up. Auburn one of a two, Alabama State 0 of two from the field. Two nothing, Tigers lead it. Inbound, run down by Hines in the backcourt. Takes a look at the bench, gets a call from Tony Madlock. Between the rings, off the left side for C.J. Madlock. They run it on the perimeter, range to Madlock, near the left corner. 18 footer up, missed, and the rebound comes to Broom. Holloway spins to midcourt. Right wing, Denver Jones three. Nope. The weak side rebound pulled in by Octave. Up the left sideline for TJ Matlock. Now to range, right wing. Picked up by Chris Moore in the defense. Hands the ball there to Octave. Top of the circle that comes for Matlock. Off the left wing for Hines. Picked up by Holloway. 
15 to shoot, drives to the baseline, uses the glass and missed it. In and out, rebound. Hines picks it up again to the top for a Madlock to the left corner, three ball in the air. No good, rebound, Oaken underneath. He puts it up and he's fouled. Auburn gave it two offensive rebounds on that series. And Alabama State will go to the free throw line. Von Oaken, 7-1 junior from Nigeria. Not a good free throw shooter. 46% foul no. against Jalen Williams. The further he gets away from the bucket, the less effective he is. He is awfully good as a rebounder, though. He's used his big body to clear space and set a screen, and he's also used it to get rebounding position. First free throw by Akin is good. It rattled in. One-handed free throw attempt. Jalen Williams and Chris Moore come out. Chad Baker, Mazzara, and Cheney Johnson in for the Tigers. 2-1, Auburn leads it, 17-26 in the first. And Ockett, of course, shooting 46% from the free throw line makes both. Ties the game at two. Holloway walks it across midcourt on the left-hand dribble, switches to the right. Baker Mazzara, top of the circle, Cheney Johnson, left wing, Denver. Denver, two dribbles out at the top, it's Holloway. 14 to shoot to the right wing, Baker Mazzara. Pull up jumper, right side, didn't get it. Rebound weak side to Janai Broom. Spins to the hole. Gets the ball to Cheney Johnson, couldn't handle it. Ball comes to Denver Jones. Underneath the Broom, lost it. And a steal for Alabama State. Octave hands to Hines. Uncharacteristic turnovers early on for Robert. Hines to Octave at the top. Left side for Hines. 16 to shoot for Robert, or excuse me, for Alabama State. Auburn double teams, Hines goes down the left wing for Madlock. Penetrates to the basket, off the glass, didn't get it, rebound Broom. One dribble, now to Denver Jones. Ahead for Chad Baker Mazzara, left wing. Underneath, Che Johnson goes up and gets fouled on a dunk attempt. Auburn is getting the looks that it wants. The shots that are not falling are not bad looks. Uh, Tigers can continue to be in the right place at the right time, and these shots will start falling. Foul whistle against Micah Octave, a junior from Boca Raton, Florida. And Cheney Johnson at the line for two for Auburn. And the first free throw rattles out. Denver Jones is out for Auburn. And uh, the energy man, Katie Johnson, in for the Tigers. Sean Smith for Alabama State into the lineup. And he replaces C.J. Hines. He's the backup point guard. Something to watch with KD. He's five points away from 1,000. Free throw by Cheney goes through. 3-2 Tigers, Auburn presses. Katie Johnson working against Sean Smith up the four for Alabama State. Across midcourt for T.J. Madlock. Madlock, left hash, tries to go down the left side, cut off by Cheney Johnson. Out to the top for Smith. Right wing pass for Isaiah Range. Inside the arc, head fake at 15. Puts it up from 15 and scores. Really nice move there by Range. The head fake executed beautifully. Aiden Holloway across midcourt for the Tigers. Auburn trails 4-3. Broom at the point. Two dribbles, now to Aiden Holloway. Down the lane, Aiden hangs, spins, goes up. It was blocked. Out of there, Oaken gets it ahead for T.J. Matlock. Up the floor, down to the baseline, and, and Matlock ran through Cheney Johnson, and Matlock whistled for the foul. And it takes us to our first time out break. 15-41 to go in the first half. Alabama State leads Auburn by a score of four to three. Great things are possible when you have the power, performance, and the smart features of a Ford F-150. The official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Greatness starts at your local Ford dealer. Stay tuned, Auburn basketball continues in a moment. Hey there, Bob Baumhauer here. Baumhauer's Victory Grill is your big game headquarters all fall long. And with our new fall features, every day is game day at Baumhauer's Victory Grill. Try our pregame starters, including our homemade onion strings, always fresh hot lips, and our all new Buffalo Dippin' Chicken appetizer. Our main events include incredible chicken, fish, and shrimp selections, always featuring local Alabama Gulf seafood. And don't forget our Sunday Blitz, 11 to six. Baumhauer's Victory Grill, legendary fun, legendary food. 
Take it from me, basketball season is a grind. That's why it's great to get away and recharge in my Ford F-150 truck. With available pro power on board, which lets me use F-150 as a mobile generator, I can enjoy the great outdoors while watching games and highlights on my flat screen TV. Ah, relaxation. Check out the official truck of the Auburn Tigers at your local Ford dealer and tell them Bruce Pearl sent you. See owner's manual for important operating instructions. Some models, trims, and features may not be available and may be subject to change. You've created a comfortable home office. Now let Carrier provide the cash bonus. For a limited time, you can claim up to $1,550 in cool cash rebates on a qualified Carrier home comfort system. There's never been a better time to upgrade to year-round premium comfort and energy savings. Carrier, a proud partner of Auburn Athletics and special needs assistance stations for you. Turn to the experts with Carrier. Chick-fil-A is proud to present this broadcast of Auburn basketball. All Chick-fil-A locations in Alabama proudly support the Auburn Tigers. Eat more chicken and war eagle with Chick-fil-A. 15.41 to go in the first half. Auburn trails Alabama State 4-3. Tigers are one of four from the field. Alabama State one of seven. Auburn has out-rebounded the Hornets 5-4 in the early going. Oddly enough, Auburn with four turnovers. Yeah. And, and I think a lot of that is the physicality of Alabama State. Alabama State has come in. They've closed out defensively. They've, they've been aggressive uh, in the paint. They've been very physical in the first four and a half minutes of this game. And I, I think that's an adjustment that Auburn will have to account for as this first half plays out. Auburn's second wave on the floor right now. Trey Donaldson, Chaney Johnson, Dylan Cardwell, Chad Baker, Mazzara, and KD Johnson. Holloway. Excuse me, Donaldson to the right wing, Baker Mazar behind the back dribble goes baseline. Tried to get it to Johnson, it never got there. It's Auburn's fifth turnover. Range on a drive, through the lane, off to the right side, pulls it out on the wing. Reverses there. Now to the top for T.J. Madlock. Tigers trail 5-4, Alabama State basketball, 15-10 in the first half. Sean Smith, 11 to shoot for the Hornets. Down the right side, three ball in the air, it's short. Over the top of the backboard, and out of bounds off the hand of Micah Ockton. Chad baker Mazar, another guy who's improved defensively from the fall when practice got underway to now. And he closed out effectively there. Auburn's got some tenacious defenders on the floor right now. Donaldson across midcourt on the right-hand dribble. 20 to shoot as he centers it between the circles. Look for a backdoor one there. Top of the circle, Cardwell right back to Trey. To the free throw line, to the right wing. Chad baker Mazar, wide open three, missed. Long rebound, weak side, KD Johnson. He's open for a three. Good! They left him open. Open shots will fall for good shooters if you give them enough. Auburn's first three of the night from KD. 6-4 Tigers, 14-23 to go in the first half of play. Smith between the circles working on Trey Donaldson. Gets a screen, drives to the basket, reverse layup, he didn't get it. And the rebound tapped out of bounds by Auburn and Alabama State retains possession with nine to shoot. Alabama State gets bigger. Just Steven Walker into the lineup. A 6'10 redshirt freshman out of Oakland, Tennessee. Baseline right, Isaiah Range will trigger. Into the corner for Smith. Guarded closely by Chad Baker Mazzaro. Pull up jumper, baseline right, missed air ball. Out of bounds off of Alkin, and Auburn has it. Again, terrific defense here in this near corner by Chad Baker Mazzara. Stuck right with him on the on the uh, dribble and forced him to take a shot where his momentum was falling back a little bit rather than going forward. 6-4 Tigers, Auburn ball, 14-04 in the first half of play. Donaldson brings it up on the left-hand dribble, picked up by C.J. Hines back in the lineup for the Hornets. Left wing KD. Top of the circle, head fake by Trey Walk. That is Auburn's sixth turnover of the first half. Auburn has gone three straight games coming into tonight with single digit turnovers. Auburn will be fortunate to make it four here tonight. Jayla Williams replaces Chaney Johnson. Inbound range. 
And now Hines will bring it across midcourt for Alabama State. Left wing pass for Range. Range dribbles out of traffic, now into a double team. Hands back. Top of the circle, off the right side, it's Madlock. Madlock against KD. Eight to shoot. Madlock drives on KD. Hanging shot off the glass, didn't get it. Rebound, Bacon Mazar. Ahead for Donaldson, right wing, no look. Left side, KD. Head fake at three. Head fake at three. Low post, Cardwell, foul on the play. What a pass by KD Johnson. He passed up two looks at a three and then threaded the needle through four hands in there to get it to Cardwell. That's a sharp pass. That's the second foul on T.J. Matlock, the leading scorer for Alabama State, and he has to come out of the game. Jalen Williams will trigger baseline left. A little bit of pushing and shoving with Chad Baker Mazzara and Isaiah Range. Williams lobs it inbound for Cardwell. Underneath for, for Jalen. In traffic, put it up, missed it. Ball away. Drive to the hole and a dunk by Kendall Parker. Again, Andy, the physicality in the post. The forwards and centers of Alabama State has given Auburn problems tonight when they've tried to work the offense through the lane. Tied at six with 12.55 in the first. Donaldson outside the arc, right wing three, Jalen. Nope. Rebound tapped out by Cardwell but it's pulled in by Walker. Left wing three, Alabama State switch. Isaiah Range with his 18th of the year. They are good in transition offensively. They knew where to look for Range on the left wing on the break. 9-6, Alabama State. 12-28 in the first. Donaldson, right wing, Baker Mazar, low post Jalen. Head fake up for a shot and he's fouled. I believe they'll get Kendall Parker. They do, it's his first. And Jalen goes to the line to shoot a couple with Auburn trailing by three. 9-6 with 12-23 to go in the first half. Alabama State just three of 13 from the field. Auburn is two of seven. Auburn's biggest problem early on has been turnovers. Seven yeah. turnovers for Auburn. Now, Alabama State has only scored two points off of that, but those are missed offensive opportunities, Bradford. No question, Auburn with only seven shots. Free throw good by Jalen. And the two makes are on a three off of an offensive rebound and then a, a dunk in transition where Chris Moore got behind the defense. Jalen Williams now 16 points shy of 1,000 in his career with that first free throw. Make it 15 shy of 1,000. Makes both free throws. 9-8, Alabama State. Auburn presses. They get the ball inbound to range. And now back to Hines, who brings it up to four for the Hornets. Left wing pass, range, open three straight away, didn't get that one. Rebound Donaldson, Auburn on the break, three on three. Donaldson leaves it, Baker Mazzara trailing down the lane. Lobs it up there, yes, and a foul! Chad Baker Mazzara on his way down, knocked it home. It looks like he just threw it up there as he was falling down, but he knew exactly what he was doing. That was excellent touch on the ball when he was uh, in good body control as he was headed down to the deck. Gives Auburn a 10-9 lead. The foul goes against Parker. It is his second. And the junior from the Dominican Republic at the free throw line for the N1. Knocked it home. That's five fouls already against Alabama State in the first eight minutes of the ball game. One for Auburn. Yep. 12 minutes to go in the first half. Tigers up 11-9. Range on a drive to the hole, reverse the layup. He got it to fall. Ocon for the second time in the game already pinned an Auburn defender away and shielded to create a lane for a teammate to go to the bucket. That time they cashed in. Range, who averages 12 a game, has seven to lead everybody right now. Alabama State in his own. KD to the top, Donaldson. Free throw line, Jalen Williams in the middle of that zone, head fake off the glass, yes. Yep. Well, the way you beat the zone, get into the middle of it to take the pass and then either win a, a matchup or look for an open guy on the wing. That time Jalen did the former. 13 to 11, Tigers on top. Hines down the lane, drives on Cardwell, put it up, missed it. Aachen got the rebound and he lost it. Saved by Jalen Williams when he was out of bounds. I don't know if that was 
a pass or maybe it was an alley-oop attempt I, for I Ankin. Think, yeah, I think it was, and, and the big guy didn't realize what he was trying to set him up for. 11-12 to go in the first half. Auburn by two over Alabama State. By score of 13 to 11, first half presented by Southern Union. It's conveniently located just a few miles from Auburn. Southern Union offers classes that easily transfer to the university. And its opportunities are right up the road. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Playfly. The 50-yard line at Jordan-Hare. Play action. Reed in trouble. Reed gets rid of it. And it's picked off. James at the 20, to the 15, to the 10. Down the sideline. He's gone. Center court at Neville Arena. Auburn, SEC champs start to finish. The Tigers win 82-71, and the celebration begins at Auburn's Neville Arena. Behind the plate at Plainsman Park. The 2-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and the Tigers win. In 2018, they celebrated in Raleigh, North Carolina. In 2019 in Atlanta. But today, Auburn celebrates at Plainsman Park. We put you right in the middle of the action. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Playfly. People take their chili seriously. At Whataburger, we also put chili on a pedestal. A pedestal made of 100% fresh beef. The Whataburger Chili Cheeseburger, made to order with our own chili on two all-beef patties, melty cheese, onions, mustard, and crunchy corn chips. This is chili elevated to burger height. The Chili Cheeseburger is back for a limited time. Whataburger, just like you like it. Brad Law checking the Yellowwood scoreboard here courtside at Neville Arena. A few other SEC matchups going on tonight. A couple of wins for Florida and Georgia already. Texas A&M in a seesaw game early against Houston Christian. 10-9 Aggies with the lead. Like here, it's still very early. They've played about eight minutes. It's final now in Columbia, South Carolina. Breezes by Elon, 70-43. So three SEC teams already victorious on the night. Auburn trying to make it four, leading Alabama State 13-11 with 11-12 to go here in half number one. Seven turnovers for Auburn, two for Alabama State. Five steals for the Hornets, zero for Auburn. And most of those, I would guess, have come in the paint when Auburn is driven in. I mean, the active hands, physical bodies. Alabama State's been called for five fouls so far because they're just not afraid to put their hands on you when you come inside. Holloway, Jones, Lee, or Berman, and Janai Broom and uh, Jalen Williams on the floor right now for Auburn. Three ball, left wing range, air ball. Aachen rebounds, then he's out of bounds. Auburn basketball. Alabama State now one of seven from three. Tigers by two, 11 05 in the first half of play. Some pressure by the Hornets and a steal by the Hornets. They're eighth of the, or their fifth, excuse me, sixth of the game. Range at the top for three, in and out. Rebound to the floor. Alabama State basketball, Auburn takes it away. Broom ahead, Berman. Lear penetrates, drives to the hole, went up for the dunk, and got fouled by Range. I like that out of Lior. A little fire, a little pep off the bench, trying to do something to, to ignite a spark. Lear 25% from the charity stripe. He's a better free throw shooter than that stat. He just doesn't get there very often. He'll get two right here. Right-hander out of Birmingham makes the first free throw. Now 16 foul, so Auburn's going to be shooting free throws for the remainder of the half. It can get there, and it can make a lot of hay from the foul line. Tonight. Eric Coleman in the lineup for Alabama State. Second free throw by Leor. Got it. 15 to 11, Tigers on top. Berman knocks the inbound pass out of bounds. Intended for range, Leor stepped in front and sent it out of bounds. Aggressive on both ends of the floor. Sonny would tell us Auburn's outstanding playing that yeah. out of bounds defense. Inbound, and it's knocked out of bounds by Denver Jones. Andy Auburn is outstanding playing out of bounds defense. 
I've heard that before. Sonny says it better. Yeah, he does. He says almost everything better. Baseball pass ahead, and it's stolen. Broom behind the back pass oh. on a bounce to Holloway. Tigers up 15 to 11 with the ball. Aiden near the right hash in front of the Alabama State bench. Top of the circle, Broom. Low post, Jalen. Turn, shoots, good. Jalen can do that almost any time he wants. 11 points away from 1,000. He has six. And Auburn leads by six, 17 to 11. 10 15 in the first half. Pass to the baseline for Walker. Walker out to the top for Range. Drives on Berman. Crossover, knocked away. Steal by Broom. Ahead to Holloway. Underneath, out of you, Jalen Williams. Oh, Jalen Williams. Oh, Aiden Holloway. 19 to 11, Auburn on top at the 10 minute mark of the first half of play. And a timeout called by Alabama State. And that's our South or Sun South drive of the game. Sun South John Deere, preferred tractor of the Tigers. Find your local dealer at sunsouth.com. That was a really difficult play. A side alley-oop. The pass from the other side of the court, from the right wing, to the left side of the goal, and Jalen Williams flashing in from the baseline, made the catch and finished the alley-oop. An explosive play from a guy with so much explosiveness in his game. Jalen Williams now a big reason Auburn has made its last four shots, and they've started to pull control of this thing into their favor. 13-2 run for the Tigers, and an 8-0 run by the Tigers and it doesn't seem to matter which five are on the floor for the Tigers either. Yeah. Well, that, that's it. Coming in, Auburn had 10 guys averaging between 16 minutes and 23.1 minutes a game. There's tremendous, not just depth, but balance. Auburn's already used 11 here in the first, first 10 minutes of this game. Yeah. Hines between the rings. Off the right side against Denver Jones. Once a screen, has to pick up the dribble, hits range between the circles. Left wing pass for Kendall Parker. 10 to shoot. Parker penetrates. 18 foot in the air. Left side didn't get it. Weak side rebound. Berman. Ball is taken away by Octave. Free throw line. Parker. Ball still loose. Still loose on the wing. Hines to the corner. Head fake at three. Drive. Shot. It's up and it's good. Yeah, the, Kendall only, Parker. the only guy left for Auburn defensively was Holloway, the, the smallest guy on the floor. So Alabama State recognized it, drove and scored. 19 to 13. Tigers on top. 9-10, first half of play. They're in his zone. Holloway at the top, Williams. In the middle of the zone for Broom. Free throw line, spins up against Octave. Got it. Nicely played. Tremendous body control. He was not facing the bucket. Made it anyway. Against a much taller opponent in yeah. on Akin. First bucket of the game before Janai Broom. Chris Moore, Cheney Johnson at the next break for Auburn. Drive, kick into the corner. Yeah, Stephen Parker. Hands over there on the sideline to Hines. Five to shoot. Hines down the left side of the lane. Kicks it in the corner. Parker stepped out of bounds. And they run out of clock anyway. Now, terrific job there. Alabama State's on the other side of the, the floor from their bench, so they can't hear their coaches letting them know. They, didn't, they weren't aware the shot clock was winding down, and Auburn all over them defensively. Tigers lead it 21-13, Auburn basketball with eight minutes and 27 seconds to go as Cheney Johnson, Chris Moore back in. Holloway walks it across midcourt in the left-hand dribble. Alabama State looks like they're in a 2-3 zone. Top of the circle, Broom. Janai underneath and they just didn't get there. Trying to get it to Cheney Johnson. Left side, three ball on the wing, missed. Rebound, Broom for the Tigers. Fifth rebound for Janai already. Holloway, behind the back dribble at the top of the circle. Between the legs dribble. Holloway maintains the dribble. Long three, eight, switch. That, that looked good as soon as it left his fingertips. 24-13 Tigers, Auburn by 11. Biggest lead for Auburn here in the first half. Parker at the right wing. Top of the circle for Hines. Picked up by Chris Moore. Shot clock at 13. Moore drives on Broom into the right corner. Right wing three ball, Parker good. 
Excellent ball movement that time. They got Auburn moving around defensively. Quick passes, ball did not hit the floor from one corner to the opposite wing. Low post, Broom goes up quickly and gets fouled by Aachen. And Janai will shoot free throws after a timeout on the floor. 7.21 to go in the first. Auburn 24, Alabama State 16. Hey, War Eagle Plus is here. Sign up for the new streaming video and content platform for Auburn Athletics, offering fans an insider's look into student athletes and coaches on the Plains. For more information and to sign up, visit WarEaglePlus.com. That's WarEaglePlus.com. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. Southern homes are particularly vulnerable to termites. In this climate, you need guaranteed protection. You need Cook's Pest Control and Centricon. Termites attack the Centricon stations, exposing themselves to an agent that eliminates their entire colony. Upgrade from old-fashioned liquid service to the proven protection of Centricon and Cook's Pest Control. Call Cook's today for a free evaluation. Looky, looky, looky. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our home. When you step onto the court and into the spotlight. The moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands and we leave our seats, that powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. With Vizzy's vibrant dual flavors, the vibe is yours to decide. I'm thinking Vizzy refreshingly berry. A round of blackberry lemon at the bar? Could be good. Maybe Vizzy vibrantly tropical. You always say vibrantly tropical. Come on, a cooler full of papaya passion fruit on the beach? Oh yeah, that's a vibe. I'm down. Vizzy hard seltzer. Flavor for every vibe. Naturally flavored with other natural flavors. Celebrate responsibly. 2023 Molson Coors Beverage Company. Milwaukee, Wisconsin flavored beer. Back to Neville Arena for more Auburn basketball. Auburn 24, Alabama State 16. Tigers shooting free throws coming out of the timeout break. 7.21 to go in the first half. Auburn has hit its last six field goals. And as a result, shooting percentage has skyrocketed as well. Auburn 8 of 13 from the field at 61.5%. Alabama State 6 of 22 from the field at 27.3% in the first half. Rebounding, Auburn has doubled up Alabama State 14 to seven. Brad, it's turnovers and steals right now. Yeah. I'm sure that's two stats that will catch the eye of the Auburn head coach at halftime. Sure, Alabama State has 22 shot attempts. Auburn has 13. Imagine shooting 60% if you had 20 shots or 22 like Alabama State. The turnovers, while they're not all leading to points for the Hornets, they're simply taking, they're taking shots away from Auburn. But I'll say that it was, it's been cleaner the last four minutes or so. Two free throws coming up for Janai Broom, the junior from Plant City, Florida. Transferred, of course, to Auburn from Moorhead State. He has Auburn high, 30 points coming against Virginia Tech earlier this month. First free throw by Janai. He got it. Double figures in 17 of his last 19 games. Another free throw for Janai, and he gets the roll. 26-16 Tigers, 7-19 to go in the first half. Auburn's largest leader in the first half, 11. Katie Johnson back into the lineup for Auburn, and nearly a steal, goes to the floor, dive, jump ball. Katie tied up, Sean Smith, of course, then he dove right on top of the action and <laughs> resulted in an alternate possession, the arrow for Alabama State. I don't think he minds that a bit, do you? Oh, no. No, I'll tell you, he's... Uh, yeah. He may practice that. Well, he does it well. Yes, he does. Alabama State ball, 18 to shoot. Down the right sideline. Trigger will come from Kendall Parker. Bounce pass to Sean Smith. Smith, left-hand dribble, centers it. Kicks it right wing for Parker. 13 to shoot. Inside the arc, out of the top for Smith. Nine to shoot. Tigers by 10, Alabama State ball. Down the left side. Smith, ball knocked out of his hand. KD Johnson steals it, then knocks the ball off Smith. He goes flying out of bounds over the first row of uh, seats. He is 
is slow to get up. Katie's all right. He hugs somebody that I'm sure he made contact with going out of bounds. And everybody's all right. I sure hope. We're all smiling anyway. Yeah. I think somebody lost a shoe. Wow. And it wasn't KD. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. 6.51, first half. Tigers by 10 with the ball. Donaldson. Chris Moore. Top of the circle, Chris. Lobs it left side, Donaldson. Head fake in the corner by KD. Head fake twice. Oh. Did they? Three seconds in the lane. I haven't. That's the first time I've seen that call all year. Yeah. Even watching other games, you don't see that called very much. And Broom right. is out. And uh, Cardwell is in. 6.38, first half. Auburn by 10, 26-16. Hines across midcourt, left-hand dribble. Picked up by Chris Moore, who fights through two screens and stays with Hines to the left side of the floor. Hines, there's a screen from Ockett. It was a moving screen. He tries to drive on Cardwell. Head fake twice, now to Parker. Straightaway three, no. Long rebound, and it's run down by Donaldson for Auburn. Trey, left wing, Cheney Johnson, down to the baseline, left side. Reverses out, nearing a double team. Fade away, Cheney, oh, missed it. Ran his own rebound down, it's knocked out of his hand. Donaldson runs it down. Left sideline, left wing, Trey. 15 to shoot for Robert. Boy, it's a physical game. Yes, indeed. Donaldson, they clear out the left side. Brings it to the top, seven to shoot. Trey drives to the hole, put it up, no. Rebound, Cheney up, no, but a foul. Aachen may have blocked Donaldson's first shot, but Cheney was there for the offensive rebound, and when he went back up, he was fouled on the play, and it's the second foul on Micah Aachen. Auburn is now out rebounding Alabama State, 16 to seven, and that's offsetting the turnovers to a degree. 13 of those rebounds on the defensive side for Auburn. Cheney Johnson with two free throws. The first is long. Cheney's sister, Khadija, played at Florida State. First, he transferred from Alabama Huntsville, where he was the Gulf South Conference Player of the Year last season. Played against Auburn in the exhibition here yeah. at the start of last season. And he knocks off the second free throw. That's where he got the attention of the Auburn coaches. 27-16 right. steal. Donaldson, KD to the hall, banked up, didn't get it. Rebound Cheney in a crowd. Back up, got it. Boy, Cheney's size around the basket and then his ability to finish at the rim. He was a scorer at his previous stop for sure, and he showed that ability to finish there. Almost 16 a game at uh, Alabama Huntsville last season. He has four tonight. Smith backed up into a double team. Left side, off the right wing, wide open, Parker three. Good. Yeah, twice they found Parker on the back side when Auburn's defense was forced to move a little too much and they couldn't recover in time. So placement by Parker and he's knocked down the threes. Cuts the lead to 10, Parker with 10, just two off of his career high. He has 10 tonight. Donaldson around the perimeter, Cheney. Low post, Dylan Cardwell against Dockett. Double team, up on the left hand, yes! 31-19 Tigers, 4.44 to go in the first half. About the soft left hand touch from Big 44. The graduate, Dylan yeah. Cardwell. Magna cum laude. Smith at the top. Madlock with two fouls off the left side, running one-hander miss. Cheney gets the rebound, oh. loses it. Ball to the low post. Shot is up by number 11, Micah Octav, and he put it in. That's just a tough break. Cheney just lost the ball, and there were two Hornets there to pick it up and finish. Auburn by 10, 31-21, 4-10 in the first. Alabama State in his own. Donaldson, screen from Cardwell. Weak side pass, left side, KD. Open three. Yes! Rip City and a foul! I think they're gonna call a foul on Auburn, but the three is good, and that's 1,001 points for KD Johnson. Needed five coming into tonight, six on the night for KD, and he goes above 1,000 in his college career. Foul, the foul was called against Auburn after the three-pointer. 3.59 to go in the first half. Auburn 34, Alabama State 21. Hey, find your piece of paradise on the Alabama Gulf Coast. 
with Mindy Jones of Remax Paradise. Visit Mindy at Paradise.com. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Play Plus. Download the new and improved Auburn Game Day app. It's fully customizable to your interests with the new My Auburn tab. Plus, buy tickets, skip concession lines, be a part of game day giveaways, shop the latest Auburn gear, and get live in-game scoring. Plus, listen to every broadcast from the Auburn Sports Network, even when multiple games are happening simultaneously on the official mobile app of Auburn Athletics, the Auburn Game Day app. Download it now. And we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, <sighs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. Damaging an underground utility can cause a lot more problems than you think. By causing a potentially avoidable damage to underground utilities, there's many scenarios that do not end well. To keep the gas, power, water, and internet running, using 811 to have your underground utilities marked is a critical piece of the damage prevention process, whether you're a homeowner or an excavator. It's free, it's simple, and it's the law. Visit AL811.com for more information. Three fifty-nine to go in the first half. Auburn thirty-four, Alabama State twenty-one. The foul was against Cheney Johnson going into the timeout break. It's his first of the night. Auburn shooting fifty-seven point nine percent from the field. Auburn is eleven of nineteen. Alabama State thirty percent shooting from the field at eight of twenty-six. And the announcement made that Katie Johnson has gone above a thousand points in his college career. I don't think he knew it. <laughs> How about that? He finally smiles. And waves to the crowd. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's not a KD move. Uh, he's out of the ball game too, by the way. Yeah. Denver Jones replaces him. <laughs> Under four minutes to go, first half. Tigers up 34-21 against a pesky Alabama State squad. Ball at the left side. They get the ball to T.J. Matlock. Right side pass, and Cardwell saves it. Gets the ball to Denver Jones. Wow. Dylan was almost in our laps there. 335, first half. Tigers up by 13. Shows you Cardwell's athleticism that far away from the basket defensively. Donaldson drives to the free throw line, down the right side of the lane. And it's knocked out of bounds off of... Auburn, I think. No, a foul was called, excuse me. A foul was called against Octave. If that's Octave, that's his third. So he will come out. No, he's gonna stay in. He's gotta come out with three fouls, doesn't he? You would think they'd have to change Octave out. Nicely done. Thank you. Range is in, now Octave does come out. Oh, that's fitting. Jess Stephen Walker is in, and Trey Donaldson is at the free throw line for a one and bonus for Auburn. 89% for the sophomore out of Tallahassee. Free throw is missed. Rebound out of bounds off of Auburn. You know, Bruce Pearl is always more lion than lamb when he's coaching in the game, but he is as intense tonight, maybe more so in game coaching than I've noticed this year. Inbound, stolen by Denver Jones. Jalen Williams, Donaldson, wrap around, Chad Bacon Mazzara, right wing Denver, free throw line head fake. At the top, it's Cardwell. Shot clock at 17, they reset out to the top for Donaldson. Trey, long three. Yep. Oh. That's just calmly knocked it home. Sure did. They weren't able to work the ball below the foul line on that offensive set, so Donaldson just pulled it and ripped it. 37-21 Tigers, 248 in the first half. Walker, excuse me, Smith, through the lane, he double dribbled, right? 
Nope, there nope. was a foul underneath. And Aachen and Chad Baker Mazzara exchange pleasantries. It is really physical. I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but it wouldn't be the only thing being beaten in this game because it is that physical down in the paint tonight. You're starting to see Auburn go down offensively and lower the shoulder and try to initiate contact. Alabama State's not backing down. Auburn's not backing down. The officials a couple of times have had to step in and try to cool things off. Baker Mazzara called for his first foul. Alabama State ball 20 to shoot. Inbound Aachen. Out at the top, Smith. 16 to shoot. Smith with the screen. Pull up about 13 footer. He got it. Yeah, Dillon was about a half step too late to come and close out defensively. Left him a little bit too much room. Auburn shooting 60% from the field. 223 in the first half. Tigers lead by 14. 37, 23. Underneath Cardwell. Easy dunk from Williams. Uh, Alabama State extended their defense. They had three guys along the perimeter and only two on the back side. And Dillon was able to get behind his defender. Long three, left wing missed by Alabama State. Rebound Donaldson. Ahead, Baker Mazzara. Lobs it. Oh, a dunk. Oh, and out of you, Jalen Williams. Ten points for Jalen. He's now seven shy of 1,000 in his career. Well, with Donaldson on the floor, the Tigers play even faster. And it was part of the game plan tonight to try to get out and run. BP said very strongly in his pregame visit with you, you asked, can you run on this team? Yes. Yeah, there was yes. no hesitation. Wasn't yeah. Ten points on the night for Jalen. He's the first in double figures tonight. He is now seven shy of 1,000. You know, and Auburn's up 18, and BP's in the huddle coaching this group like they're in the, I mean, like they're at the final four with four minutes to go in a tie game. That's BP. Yes, it is. That's the BP we love. Well, and, and I think it tells you what he thinks this team can do, and he knows they need to stay at a certain intensity level. That's what he wants to see. Finish this half, the final minute 57, stay at the height of intensity going into the locker room. 41-23 Tigers. This is the biggest lead for Auburn in the first half. Inbound, uh, Micah Octave. Bounce pass back to Sean Smith. He'll bring it up as Auburn backs off the press. Smith, two range. Picked up by Aiden Holloway. Spins, gets past Aiden to the hole. He put it in. Nine for range. 41-25 Tigers, Williams. At the top, Holloway, right wing, Baker Mazzara. Against the zone, long three, eight, nope. Weak side rebound, Smith for Alabama State up the floor. Cross midcourt, right hand dribble. Left side range, steps into a three, didn't get it. Oh. Rebound tapped up off the glass, it comes to Broom. And Janai will just bring it up the floor, all 6'10 of himself. Right sideline, Baker Mazzara. Now to Aiden Holloway. On the right wing, Baker, low post, Jalen, to the hole, oh. with authority. Mercy. He could name his number tonight. 12 on the night. He's five points shy of 1,000. 57 seconds to go in the first half. Tigers lead at 43-25. Octave, left wing for Alabama State, picks up the dribble, off of range and out of bounds. And all of a sudden, that's the 10th turnover for Alabama State. Auburn will not have a third straight game of single-digit turnovers. The Tigers already have 12 but tonight. Make that a fourth straight game with single-digit turnovers. Auburn ball. 48.7 seconds to go in the first half. Inbound Holloway races forward across midcourt. Aiden between the circles. Gets a screen for oh, a yeah. oh. Off the left side. Picked up by Smith aggressively. Drives past Smith at the top. Broom outside the arc. To Aiden, 14 to shoot for the Tigers. Aiden on the right wing. Long three, short. Rebound, Baker Mazzara. Back to the wing, Aiden, another three. Count that one. That's, that's why you just keep the green light on the guy. He is so confident. 21 point lead for Auburn with 20.8 seconds in the first half. Range comes out for Alabama State. C.J. Hines back in a point. Or a point. 
And this is Auburn's ball. A turnover, I guess, against Alabama State on the inbound, right? Or did they take away the three by Holloway? Well, I don't think they took away the three. Yeah, just a turnover. Range turned the ball over on and the he, inbound. And he came out. So Auburn gets it for the final 20.8 seconds of yeah. the first half. The game clock and shot clock are eight tenths of a second apart. It looked like they were trying early in the last set for a two for one to try to get something before 30 seconds were, were left on the, on the game clock. They weren't able to do that, but because of the turnover, they do get the opportunity here to hold for a last shot and a half. 20.8 seconds to go in the first half of play. Tiger ball leading 46-25. Well, and again, Aiden Holloway misses two very long threes in a row on back-to-back -back trips down the floor, but he's got the green light, and he's got that confidence, and he made the third one count. Yeah. Third time to charm. Yeah. Inbound, Baker Mazar to the perimeter. Holloway, top of the circle. In the center circle, 14 to shoot. Drives up the right wing, gets the ball in the top for Broom. 10 to shoot. Janai. Jones down the lane, Denver against Aachen, put it up and he missed it. Ball goes out of bounds, Auburn ball, five seconds on the shot clock now. That was the 6-4 Jones driving on the 7-1 Aachen. Auburn with five to shoot. Jalen, inbound out to the top for Janai. Four to shoot, three ball blocked by Aachen. Final two seconds in the first half. The shot clock violation by Auburn. And the first half comes to a close. At the end of one at Neville Arena, Auburn pulling away from Alabama State at the half. Tigers lead it 46 to 25. Auburn on the break. Time now for the Koneka Sausage Halftime Report. He's pulling double, maybe triple duty tonight. Here's Brad Law. <laughs> for a little while anyway, we're going to bring Jacob Hillman into the spot before halftime is over, but we'll at least start with a check of the Yellowwood School Board and the other action in the SEC tonight. Texas A&M uh, playing at home against Houston Christian, and they're two minutes away from halftime in College Station. Aggies on top there, 31 to 21. They'll get started in about 10 minutes in St. Louis, 13th ranked Illinois hosting Missouri as the Tigers bid to uh, upset the top 15 Big Ten team in the Illini. Again, that's an 8 o'clock Central time start. Three finals in the league. South Carolina winner over Elon, 70 to 43 in Columbia. In Gainesville tonight, Florida blew out Grambling, 96 to 57. And Georgia pulled away from North Florida, 78 to 60. Bulldogs go to 9 and 3 on the season. Looking at top 25 games, a plethora of games, afternoon and evening. Uh, currently sixth ranked Marquette all over Georgetown late in that ball game in Milwaukee, 81 to 46. A surprising score in Lawrence as uh, Yale leads second ranked Kansas 33-32 at the half. Bulldogs jumped out to an early seven point lead and they lead the Jayhawks 33-32 uh, at the half. Number 24, Wisconsin with a 13-point lead over Chicago State. Halftime of that matchup, 38-25. to 25. Finals in the top 25 earlier tonight. It was 10th-ranked Baylor hammering Mississippi Valley State, 107-48. to 48. 18th-ranked Clemson topped Queens University out of Charlotte, 109-79. to 79. Tigers got 69 points in the first half alone uh, to build a nice halftime lead. Also tonight, it was number 19, Texas, big over Texas A&M Corpus Christi, 71-55. to And a 20th-ranked James Madison went to 12-0 on the year, winning at Morgan State, 89-75. to Here at the half, our score, Auburn 46, Alabama State 25. We'll take a look around Auburn Athletics when we return on the Koneka Sausage Halftime Report. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Playfly. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our home. When you step onto the court and into the spotlight. The moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands, and we leave our seats. That powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. 
Here's a clip from a recent Talking Tigers podcast with Andy Burcham. Jarris McIntyre, former Auburn wide receiver. It's some games on YouTube that I that I watched him against Alabama and some of these boys. One, I guess, a bowl game against Texas. And he was fast, man. He wasn't the biggest guy, but he, he would run. He, could, he would hit that hole. They were like in a fear type offense. I mean, nowadays, it, he would have been spread out. And I mean, he ended up in there not being that big. And, 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 and you know, he told me he had some speed. He always would tell me how fast he was. And, and, and I, I didn't believe it until I actually saw it. But, but he was a heck of a back. You know, since then, you know, we, we've been, you know, have, have our conversation as running back you, but it was it was good to kind of know that he was one of the first to, to be able to kind of start that whole running back tradition. A new episode of the Talking Tigers podcast is released every Monday. Wherever you listen to podcasts, like and subscribe to the Talking Tigers podcast only from the Auburn Sports Network. Who says you need snow to live in a winter wonderland? Southerners know a true winter smells like pine, cinnamon, and citrus. And the only warmth you need is delivered by time with friends and family. Farm fresh sweet potatoes, Christmas trees, and satsumas just make this time of the year even sweeter. Whether you're preparing to jingle some bells or settle into a silent night by a roaring fire, Sweet Grown Alabama has something for you. Find sweet potatoes, Christmas trees, satsumas, and more near you at sweetgrownalabama.org. Back on the Koneka Sausage Halftime Report from Neville Arena where Auburn leads Alabama State 46-25. to Another first half where Auburn puts up 45-plus. It's been a trend lately for the Tigers, and uh, they got some hot shooting over the course of the final 10 minutes of the half to do just that. 21-point lead for the Tigers. We'll look around Auburn Athletics, and there are no events on the athletic calendar uh, for the next week as uh, all the, the sports are, are taking holiday breaks and uh, student athletes getting a little time to go home and visit family and friends before coming back to resume the calendar. Uh, Auburn basketball is in action one week from tomorrow here at home at 8 o'clock against Chattanooga. Women's basketball will look for an eighth straight win New Year's Eve at 2 o'clock in the afternoon as North Alabama comes to Neville Arena. So we'll take the opportunity to sort of update you on bowl programming and get you set for the Music City Bowl. And we'll actually start that Monday with the latest episode of the Talking Tigers podcast with Andy Burcham. He will visit with the uh, longtime voice of the Maryland Terrapins, uh, Johnny Holiday. 45 years is the voice of the Terps. That conversation is, is really interesting. And not just talk about his background, but obviously they'll talk a great deal about this Maryland team and the matchup in the Music City Bowl. That is released Monday. It'll be released Christmas Day. Talking Tigers podcast uh, always released on Monday. And so if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you like, subscribe, download the episode, and listen as you get ready next week for the Music City Bowl. One week from tonight, 7.30 Central, uh, December 29th, the week from tonight at 7.30, it is a special edition of Tiger Talk live at the Wild Horse Saloon, downtown Nashville. This is going to be a phenomenal event. The event itself goes 6 until midnight from the Wild Horse. It is a ticketed event. A few tickets do remain. You can go to AuburnTigers.com, go to the Bowl Central page, and you can get more information on those ticket packages. Uh, but there's going to be live music. Coach Hugh Freeze will be on Tiger Talk. A um, lot of really great – you don't want to miss this event. You want to make it part of your Music City Bowl plans, full Auburn Sports Network crew, and more. That's Tiger Talk a week from tonight, 7.30 Central Time from the Wild Horse Saloon in Nashville. And then, of course, the bowl game itself next Saturday, the 30th. Our coverage will start at 10 a.m. Central with kickoff against Maryland just after 1 o'clock. So that's your Music City Bowl prep next week. When we come back, Jacob Hillman takes this seat, gives you the stats from the first 20 minutes. That's right, two guys on the Koneka Sausage Halftime Report. Auburn leads Alabama State 46 to 25 here at the break. Before we continue, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Auburn Sports Network. Tigers on top by 21, 46-25 over Alabama State. Stay tuned. The Koneka Sausage Halftime Report continues in a moment. Koneka Sausage is a fan favorite for tailgating, always great on the grill, and it's the official sausage dog and hot dog of the Auburn Tigers. Koneka Sausage is made from the finest cuts of pork, their patented blend of seasonings, and smoked over a pure hickory fire for that true southern flavor. 
Be sure to visit the Connecticut Gift Shop in Evergreen, Alabama, right off I-65 at exit 96. Enjoy a crowd-pleasing Connecticut sausage dog while watching the Tigers and make Connecticut part of your game day. Connecticut sausage since 1947, a real winner. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. La fa 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 Don't you mean fa la 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 la? Nope, we're shaking things up. Whatever you say. Shake things up this season at the Toyota Thon sales event. Lease a new 2024 Toyota RAV4 LE for $339 a month for 24 months plus $500 holiday bonus cash. Toyota, let's go places. Offer valid through January 2nd, 2024. Well qualified lessees with approved credit through Southeast Toyota Finance. 3638 do it signing. No security deposit with select equipment. 350 disposition fee. Excludes tax, tag, registration, title, and dealer fees. See dealer for details. Then we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be I'll the best Coke ever. Too. That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and Temple. zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must try for. Aw, Jim! Ha <laughs> ha Best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. We're still on the air. Hello, this is Coach You Freeze. They say Coke Zero Sugar is irresistibly tasty. Does that make it the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. War Eagle. Long three, left wing missed by Alabama State. Rebound Donaldson, ahead, Baker Mazzara, lobs it, oh, a dunk, oh, and out of you, Jalen Williams. Ten points for Jalen, he's now seven shy of a thousand in his career. Welcome back to Neville Arena, where Auburn leads Alabama State, 46-25 to at the half. This is the Connecticut Sausage Halftime Report. I'm Jacob Hilbin, courtside alongside Andy Burcham and Brad Law. And we're here to give you the halftime numbers and the halftime numbers in this game are presented to you by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Don't wait. Vaccinate. Protect yourself and others by staying current on all recommended vaccines. Visit alabamapublichealth.gov slash IMM. And as we look at the stats, we'll start with the team comparison and go down the line as Auburn has been efficient so far shooting the ball 57% on 16 of 28 shooting. Alabama State is at a 33% clip on 10 of 30. From three, Auburn is 5 for 12 for 42% while Alabama State is 3 for 13 at 23%. Now, something that hasn't been an issue for Auburn in the last three games is turning the ball over, but this game, Auburn's been a little careless, especially early on, has turned it over 12 times, but in transition, the defense has played well, only giving up six points off of those turnovers to Alabama State. The Hornets have turned the ball over 11 times, but Auburn has turned those into 12 points. Auburn dominating on the boards, 23 to 10 in total rebounds, and has grabbed seven offensive boards to Alabama State's four. Two of those came on one possession earlier in this game. Auburn has recorded nine second chance points to Alabama State's two. And as usual, the bench points are in favor of Auburn heavily, 22 to 12 here at the half. And in the paint, Auburn has 22 points there as well to Alabama State's 10. Uh, not, not a ton of transition points so far tonight, but we've seen some high-flying highlights like you heard coming out of this break. Jalen Williams has got two alley-oops, and he's the leading scorer so far tonight. He's got 12 points. We hit one milestone tonight, 1,000 points for Katie Johnson with his second three of the game. Jalen Williams is five points shy of hitting 1,000 points tonight, so we hope to see him hit that milestone in the second half. Some other scores on this Auburn team at the half. Aiden Holloway has six points on two of five shooting, and all five of those shots have come from three. He's dished out two assists as well. And then Janai Broom has four points on one of two shooting. He's also gone to the free throw line, but he's got six rebounds, so he is dominating there in the paint. Chad baker Mazar making an impact uh, passing the ball. Has three assists so far and two rebounds along with three points. And then the bench is just loaded with scores. You have three points from Trey Donaldson. Chris Moore has two. He, he kind of opened the game up with a fast break dunk. And Leo Berman has two points. Chaney Johnson with four. Dylan Cardwell with four as well. It is Kendall Parker leading the way for the Hornets with ten points. And he has two of three from three and four of seven total. Those are your halftime numbers presented by the Alabama Department of Public Health. Auburn leads Alabama State. 46-25 to 25 at the break. That's going to do it for the Connect Sausage Halftime Report. 
when we go to the other side, Andy Burcham and Brad Law will have the action. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Play. You've been listening to the Kaneka Sausage Halftime Show. Make Kaneka Sausage part of your game day. Still family owned and made in Evergreen, Alabama since 1947. The second half is two minutes away. This is the Auburn Sports Network. 1907, Auburn had no paved roads, no local newspaper, a few automobiles, very little electricity or indoor plumbing, and one bank, Auburn Bank. For all these years, we've had a part in shaping and serving Auburn, Opelika, and East Alabama, a steadfast partner to our customers, meeting financial needs at just the right times. How do we know our community so well? Because we've grown up together. Auburn Bank, champions of you. Member FDIC, online at auburnbank.com. At Jewelry by Design, we design and hand make officially licensed Auburn University jewelry. We are fully stocked with the largest selection in town. Come by Jewelry by Design and see all of our fabulous designs. And just for looking, receive a free $60 Auburn charm. Just say, I heard you on the radio. Jewelry by Design, proudly making Auburn in Auburn. Find us at jbdauburn.com or 590 North Dean Road in Auburn. Fine Dining meets Southern Comfort at Vintage 2298, Auburn's newest fine dining restaurant and butcher shop. Chef Randall Baldwin and wife Laura present Gulf cuisine with a Southern flair made fresh farm to table. Seasonal meats, cheeses, wine, and handcrafted cocktails available next door at the butcher shop. Manager Stephen Jacobs and staff bring a new level of service to local dining at Vintage 2298. Private dining and event space available, as well as awesome tailgate packages found in the butcher shop. Experience Vintage 2298. Four Seasons Federal Credit Union. Homegrown and ever owned. Four Seasons Federal Credit Union is offering a seven month CD at an annual percentage yield of 5.64% and a 13 month CD at an annual percentage yield of 5.38%. Four Seasons Federal Credit Union is the financial institution for you. This promotion is for new deposits only with a $2,500 minimum. Membership eligibility required. Accounts are federally insured by the National Credit Union Administration. Contact us for more details. About a half minute away from the second half, and Auburn leads Alabama State 46 to 25. Along with Brad Law, Jacob Hillman, I'm Andy Burcham. We, uh, Sorry that uh, we could not have Sonny Smith on our broadcast tonight. Sonny got to the ballpark and he just slowly started to lose his voice. And by the time our broadcast started tonight, he didn't have a voice to give. So Sonny is home Sorry. and he'll be back with us when Chattanooga comes to town on the 30th. So you get us. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For me, not for Andy. You're, people aren't sorry they're hearing you. Auburn will have the ball to open the second half. We'll play good shooting half for Auburn at 57%. 16 of 28 held Alabama State to 33% shooting in the first half at 10 of 30. And uh, Dylan Cardwell will get the start for Auburn in the second half. He joins Holloway, Jones, Moore, and Williams on the floor for the Tigers. Auburn ball to open the second half. Five points away, Jalen Williams is five points away from 1,000 in his career. He leads everyone tonight with 12. And he will trigger the second half with an inbound pass to Aiden Holloway. And we're underway, Tigers to the basket to our right. Holloway a screen from Cardwell, three ball, no. Long rebound at the free throw line, Alabama State, and a foul on Auburn. I think it's going to go against Dillon. First foul against to Dillon. Cardwell played a little over nine minutes in the first half, tonight just under 11. Almost even split. Alabama State ball. Hines across midcourt, gets a screen, drives to the hole, puts it up, and scores. A really nice play by Hines. He just got a quick step on Jones. Denver couldn't recover quickly enough. 45% of his shots are three, but that was a layup. And Auburn's lead is 46-27 underneath Jalen. Triple teamed into the corner. Chris Moore, three. No. Rebound, fought for. And Madlock pulls it in for Alabama State. 
he did not score in the first half. Two quick fouls. He looks for a screen. Gets the ball over there to Micah Octave. Ball knocked into the backcourt, and it's over and back on Alabama State. Twelfth turnover forced by Auburn, and the majority of them over the last ten minutes of the first half, and now less than a minute into the second. Auburn's lead is 19 points, 46-27. And Auburn will trigger in front of its own bench. Chris Moore races over there to throw it inbound, right in front of the Auburn bench. Cardwell off the inbound. Jalen to Denver. Down the right side of the lane. Bump goes up. No. No foul. Here's Alabama State the other way. Range penetrates on Jalen Williams to the hole off the glass, and it's good with a foul. Well, the two teams were very different offensive sets the first two times down the floor. Alabama State has made it a point to drive. Auburn may be giving a half step and allowing longer shots, but Alabama State is driving to the bucket. Meanwhile, Auburn on two offensive trips, they've taken two fairly quick threes. Jalen Williams called for his second foul, and Isaiah Range at the line for the end one. He has 11 for the Hornets. Senior out of Cedar Hill, Texas. The free throw is missed, and Jalen Williams pulls in the rebound. Up the floor on the left hand dribble, Aiden Hottaway. Cross mid court between the legs, dribble to the left hand. Switches to the right, drives to the right wing. High post pass now for Cardwell, hands to Denver. Inside the arc, lost it. A steal for Alabama State. Yeah, just quick hands by Madlock. He got the hands in, poked it away from behind. Hines between the circles. Right wing, right back to Hines. Drives on Jalen to the baseline, fade away. Didn't get it. Weak side rebound, Aachen, and he walked. <laughs> Alabama State said that he was held. <laughs> you heard that. Yes. Glad that's all we heard. Yeah. 46-29 Auburn. Tigers have been outscored 4-0 in the second half. Right wing, Chris Moore. Top of the circle, Jalen. Left wing for Denver Jones to Holloway. Left side of the circle. Ball knocked out of his hand from behind by Hines. Auburn with 11 to shoot. This Alabama State team is playing as pressure, as tight a pressure defense as we've seen from the last few opponents. Aiden Holloway penetrates, gets bumped, scores, but he was fouled before the shot. Foul goes against Kendall Parker, his third. First team Five on the shot, or excuse me, 20 on the shot clock for Auburn. And Chris Moore will trigger down the right sideline. At the top, Dylan Cardwell. Jalen Williams, Denver Jones. Outside the arc, backs it up. 13 to shoot, Jalen. Right wing three, no, long. Rebound, Denver runs it down. To the basket, hangs, goes up, and scores on the foul of the play. First bucket of the night for Denver. Over the last six to eight minutes of the first half, we started seeing Auburn initiate contact with Alabama State, especially the, the bigs against their big men, whether it was guards or, or Auburn's bigs. And there you saw it again. Denver could have dropped that pass off to Chris Moore on the inside. Instead, he went in, forced the contact, drew the foul. Aachen called for his second foul. Denver for the end one. 49-29 Tigers. Janai Broom, by the way, in replacing Cardwell. Inbound off the left sideline, or rather side, right sideline for C.J. Hines. He'll bring it up the floor. Baker Mazar at the next break for Auburn. Tony Madlock picked up by Holloway. Lobs to Ockett, to Madlock, to the hole. Yes, and a foul. He'll go to the line for two, or excuse me, for the end one. First bucket tonight for T.J. Madlock. Transferred to Alabama State from South Carolina State. Named the SWAC preseason newcomer of the year. All three field goals this half for Alabama State have come on drives. Beg your pardon, he was the SWAC newcomer of the year last season. Free throw falls for TJ. 
This team faced a significant deficit against USC and made a comeback in the second half. Mika Mazar, left corner. Denver Jones, three. Nope. Rebound to Akin. We'll bring it up the floor for Alabama State. 49-32 Tigers on top. Hines between the circles. 18 to shoot. Alabama State has outscored Auburn 7-3 in the second half. Three ball, Hines on the wing, didn't get it. Weak side rebound to Denver Jones, and he's fouled after the rebound. He's gonna go against Hockett, it's his third. As Kendall Parker comes back in for Alabama State, replacing Hockett. Chaney Johnson comes in for Auburn, replacing Jalen Williams. 49-32 Tigers, 16-49 in the second half. Auburn just one of six from the field in the second half. Had a slow start offensively in the first half, but then they turned it up defensively, and that led to offense. Holloway, right wing. Behind the back dribble, brings him top of the circle, lobs it, broom, reverse good. My goodness. A nifty behind the back dribble on the wing, worked it back to the top, and then floated it up there to broom. Six for Janai. 51-32 Tigers, 11th assist of the night for the Tigers. Drive, and they just dribble the ball out of bounds It's C.J. Hines trying to drive on Chaney Johnson. 16-17 in the second half, 51-32. Tigers on top, Holloway, Broom. Janai, back to Holloway. Screen from Chaney. Left wing, reverses. Backs it up with 13 to shoot. Crossover dribble down the left side. Drives through the lane to the wing. Chad Bacon, Mazzara three. No. Rebound. And here is Reigns the other way for Alabama State. To Hines on the right wing. Top of the circle, Reigns. Drives on Cheney. Puts it high off the glass. He didn't get it. Broom gets the rebound. Leaves for Holloway. Behind the back dribble to the top of the circle off to the right wing. 21 to shoot for Robert. 15-34 to counting clock, second half. Tiger ball, Broom, left-handed pass to the corner. Denver Jones drives and gets bumped and a foul on the drive. It'll go against C.J. Hines, and it takes us to a timeout break. 15-29 to go in the second half. Auburn 51, Alabama State 32. Auburn basketball brought to you by East Alabama Health with more than 80 physicians added in the past five years. They're growing their health care team to, greet them, to meet the growing needs of Auburn, Opelika, and the surrounding area. Stay tuned, oh, Auburn basketball continues in a moment. Damaging an underground utility can cause a lot more problems than you think. By causing a potentially avoidable damage to underground utilities, there's many scenarios that do not end well. To keep the gas, power, water, and internet running, using 811 to have your underground utilities marked is a critical piece of the damage prevention process, whether you're a homeowner or an excavator. It's free, it's simple, and it's the law. Visit AL811.com for more information. This holiday season, visit Boot Barn for top quality gifts that pay tribute to the lasting heritage of the West. From handcrafted cowboy boots and American-made felt hats to hand-stitched leather jackets, our in-store experts will help guide you as you shop, assisting with boot fitting and providing complimentary hat shaping. This holiday, share a piece of the American spirit. Boot Barn, unwrap the West. Right now, I'm driving to work, but that's not where I'm going. I'm going to more important things. I'm going to visit Papa. I'm going to go out with friends and to an anniversary dinner. And I look out at the big trucks and buses and people walking and think, we're all going somewhere. And we need to work together to share the road and get there safely. Learn how at www.sharetheroadsafely.gov. Paid for by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Alabama Power is proud to present this broadcast of Auburn basketball. Alabama Power, power for a better Alabama. 15-29 to go in the second half at Neville Arena. Auburn leads Alabama State 51-32, along with Brad Law, Jacob Hillman. I'm Andy Bertram. Next up for this Tiger team, 
December 30th. It's an 8 o'clock game. That's right. It's an 8 o'clock game now with Chattanooga. Brad, Sonny Smith, Jacob Hillman with the call on the Auburn Sports Network starting at 7.30 on December 30th. See uh, head baseball coach Butch Thompson in the house tonight checking out the Tigers. Just recently celebrated a birthday. Yeah. Just found out today that Auburn Plainsman Park now sold out for the fourth straight year <laughs> for 2024. Auburn ball out of bounds, baseline left. The inbound, Chad Baker Mazar, left side of the key. Drives with the right hand, pull up 15 footer, no. Rebound, Broom, foul. Broom is called for the foul. Fighting with Aachen. And for Janai, his first foul of the night. Here's your five for Auburn. Trey Dallas and Katie Johnson. Chad Baker, Mazzara, Chaney Johnson and Janai Broom. There's a steal by KD. Went over 1,000 points in his Auburn career and he threw it right back. Active hands of Alabama State. It's been that way since the jump tonight. They don't yield, they don't give up on the ball. Left wing, Sean Smith. 15 to shoot as he backs up with the right hand dribble, gets a screen. Drives off the left side against Broom, put it up and Janai blocked it. And then a foul after the rebound by Chad Baker Mazar. He got knocked out of bounds by Jas Steven Walker. Second foul on Jas Steven. Fifth foul against Alabama State. Auburn ball 15 or 14.59 in the second. Tigers up 51-32. Walker hip check. And a beauty. Yeah. Trey Donaldson at the point. At the right hand dribble across midcourt, hands to Baker Mazar. Now Cheney Johnson outside the left arc to the top for Broom. Broom inside the key drive, spins to the lane with his left hand, he put it in. Smooth. He was not knocked off balance despite being knocked around kind of like a pinball. Broom has 50 career double doubles tonight. He has eight points and seven rebounds. 53 32 Tigers. 14-21 in the second half. Smith, three ball, blocked by Broom, who rebounds, drives to the hole, yes, and a foul! He started at Bradford, and he finished it. I'd say he's responding well to coming off the bench to start the second half. Double figures now in 19 or 18 of his last 20 games, Janai Broom. Two straight blocks for Broom and then the transition bucket and the contact. He was fouled on the play by Sean Smith, his first. Room for the end to one opportunity. Parker comes out for Alabama A&M, so, excuse me, Alabama State, so does Micah Octave. As C.J. Hines returns to the lineup along with T.J. Madlock. Free throw by Janai. Missed it long. Rebound to Alabama State. Parker across midcourt. Throws it top of the circle for Madlock. Madlock on the wing. Isaiah Range. True Madlock. Drives on Bacon Mazar. Goes up on a block and a foul. T.J. Madlock spent some time here in Auburn. Of course, his father, an assistant on Tony Barbie's staff. He played alongside Auburn team manager, Hayes Sampson. He played for Hayes' mother, Lisa Sampson, the former Auburn women's basketball player, formerly known as Lisa Champion, on a travel ball. And of course, her father, the legendary Joe Champion, doing color here tonight for SEC Network Plus. Tony Madlock, a highly respected coach, and uh, his pregame routine was a little different tonight, being back inside <laughs> Neville Arena. Yeah. Visiting with a lot of folks. Madlock makes the first free throw and he makes both. And the same was true at TJ. A lot of, lot of friends. 55-34, Tigers Auburn breaks the press. Donaldson to Broom right back to Trey. 55-34, Auburn. Broom at the point. Drives on Aachen to the hole off the glass. Yes! Well, Janai very clearly believes he can win that one-on-one -on -one matchup, and the coaches do too. He got it high up top. And, uh, and and just took Aachen all the way to the hoop. Eight of his 12 in the second half coming off the bench. Madlock 
Pull up jumper left side, didn't get it. Weak side rebound, Katie Johnson. Long pass ahead, Cheney Johnson. Left wing, Donaldson. Trey, three, no. Ockton rebounds for Alabama State. Up the middle of the floor, Parker. Backs it up, gets the ball to Hines. Approaching 13 minutes on a counting clock in the second. Auburn up 57-34. Hines off the left side, Rage hands to Madlock. Now to Hines, shot clock at five. Left wing, corner, three ball, head fake. Drive by Rage, put it in with the buzzer going off. Oh. Auburn the other end, Broom goes up, missed it, he goes down hard. And here is Alabama State the other way. Parker over Johnson scores. Transition offense. They, they had five on four with Janai going down underneath the bucket. And they're able to steal a quick bucket. Four straight points for Alabama State. Auburn 57, Alabama State 38. Katie Johnson left wing. Donaldson right wing, Baker Mazzara. Free throw line for Broom. Janai. Dribbles in against Aachen. Head fake. Gets double team. Loses it. Gets it back. Out to the top. Trey. Four to shoot. Two to shoot. Trey. 18 footer. Got it. Boy. To play so fast, he is really under control. And that's a very sweet mid range jumper from Donaldson. Five on the night for Donaldson. Auburn up 59 38. 11 45 in the second half. Hines. Parker. Hands to Madlock, picked up by Donaldson. Eight to shoot for Alabama State. Ockett, backdoor Madlock, pull up 14 footer, nobody's fouled. And the foul will go against Auburn. Who is it? Broom. Thank you. 11.33 to go in the second half. Auburn 59, Alabama State 38. Madlock shoots free throws and we come back. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Playfly. Hey, it's Amanda, and a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A nugget trays is that they're so easy for the holidays. They're warm and flavorful. It's always the crowd pleaser. When I put down a nugget tray, everyone is happy. Hey, this is Brian, and the little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A nugget trays is the joy that it brings to me and everybody around me during the holidays. They're warm, juicy, and delicious. Cater the holidays with Chick-fil-A today. Available on the Chick-fil-A app. Real guests paid for their testimonials. The passion, the tradition, the rivalries. Sirius XM is your destination for all things college sports, and we've got you covered. On SEC Radio, there is complete coverage of every school in the conference, including live games, plus 24-7 talk and analysis. So cheer along on the Sirius XM app and listen to your favorite team anywhere. And now you can get three months of Sirius XM free. Subscribe now. See all for details at SiriusXM.com slash SEC Sports. By now, your daily routine is probably a little too routine. Don't you want to change? Don't you want to start playing by your own rules and escape the routine so your fantasy becomes reality? Where every night is an adventure, where new flavors are ready to be tasted, where it feels like you're a winner. Take a chance. Reward yourself. Make your routine anything but routine. Escape every day at Wind Creek Casino and WindCreekCasino.com. Welcome back to Neville Arena. Jacob Hillman here courtside as Auburn leads Alabama State 59-38. to Head baseball coach Butch Thompson. Brad Law mentioned he was here. He is the celebrity letter holder here tonight. We'll take celebrity a check. Celebrity end. Celebrity end. Yes. Check of the Yellowwood scoreboard in SEC play. Number 13, Illinois, Missouri got underway at 8 o'clock. And the Fighting Illini lead the Tigers 16-9. Texas A&M is putting it on Houston Christian, 51 to 28. And a very interesting game going on in the top 25 as number two Kansas is in a battle with Yale, 43 to 42 at Allen Fieldhouse with 11.02 to go. Wow. Back over to the voice of the Tigers, Andy Bertram and Brad Law. All right, Jacob, hey. thank you. 11.33 to go in the second half here. Auburn up 59-38. When Coach Thompson gets the letter, do you think he checks to, to see if it's a K first? <laughs> Good point. Yeah. You waited a long time for that one, didn't you? I was proud of you it. I was. I, I had to. I had to work it in. You worked on it a while, yeah, didn't you? I was. 
I was going to shoehorn that in there one way or the other. Was there any hesitation in doing that? Oh, zero. I, it was a quick pitch. I knew that. <laughs> Madlock at the line for two for Alabama State. Preseason second team all swack makes the first free throw. He has scored eight points all in the second half. Got into early foul trouble, as Brad mentioned, he in is, the first. In all these Power Five games that they've been playing, he has been the leader, the, the clear leader. Yeah. Misses the second free throw. Cardwell gets the rebound. Tigers about rebounded Alabama State 30 to 20. Holloway, Williams, left wing KD, goes baseline through the lane and gets knocked to the floor. I mean, well, there wasn't a whole lot of. He, I mean, he just got knocked down. Yeah. Oh, this, this game has resembled a, a, a yeah. hockey match more so than a, a basketball game at times. Yeah, Katie well, may have got tripped yeah. a little bit too. <laughs> I just got to be honest with you. I got to tell you, he may, have been, uh, he may have been bailed out a little bit. It looked like his foot gave way and turned over as he was on the baseline. Foul was called against Rangers second. KD at the line for a one in bonus. The game has still resembled a, a, a hockey. Agree. Yeah. Free throw is up, it's good for KD. Went over a thousand points in the first half on two three-pointers. His first point of the second half. Auburn, 11 of 15 from the free throw line tonight. And KD knocks home both. Eight point night for KD Johnson. 11-21 in the second half. Berman in the lineup. Jalen Williams, Aiden Holloway, KD Johnson, Dylan Cardwell, the Auburn five. Right wing Hines stayed out of a double team, picked up by Jalen. Hines with 13 to shoot. Hands to Parker, back to Hines. Drives off to the right hash, seven to shoot. Gets tied up by KD. Jump ball. Alternate possession day, Alabama State. That is so hard to do, but KD does it as well as anybody else. On a jump stop, guy gets in the air, and he gets his hands in there and ties him up. It's just so KD. It is. Alabama State ball out of bounds, baseline right. Parker lobs it, inbound for Hines. Four to shoot. Right wing, they back it up, one to shoot. Get off the three, it's no good. And the rebound, Aiden Holloway. On the break for Auburn. Left wing, KD. Three ball, and banked it in. He banked it in. <laughs> 11 for KD. And KD gives him a look like I meant to do that. 64-39, Tigers timeout, Alabama State. 10.33 to go in the second half. Second half presented by Wind Creek Hotel and Casino with three Alabama locations in Atmore, Montgomery, and Wetumpka. You escape every day at Wind Creek Hotel and Casino and online at windcreek.com. Stay tuned, friends. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. Hey, it's Amanda. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A nugget trays is that they're so easy for the holidays. They're warm and flavorful. It's always the crowd pleaser. When I put down a nugget tray, everyone is happy. Hey, this is Brian, and the little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Nugget Trays is the joy that it brings to me and everybody around me during the holidays. They're warm, juicy, and delicious. Cater the holidays with Chick-fil-A today, available on the Chick-fil-A app. Real guests paid for their testimonials. Hey, I'm Charles Barkley. Call for a Redmond and water at bars and restaurants throughout the great state of Alabama. Redmond Vodka, available at select ABC stores and package stores. Redmond Vodka is eight times distilled, gluten-free, and is made from non-GMO corn. Looking to support a local business? Redmond Distilling is Alabama proud and minority owned. Learn more online at redmonddistilling.com. War Eagle, it's a great day for Auburn Tigers to get vaccinated. Many children and adults that delayed vaccinations during the pandemic are still behind schedule. It's crucial that we take steps to get everyone back on track with their routine immunizations. Children and teens can still catch up on their vaccinations even if they start late. Make sure you and your family are all up to date on all recommended vaccines, including COVID-19 and flu. Let's all do our part to get back on track. Don't wait. Vaccinate. For more information, visit alabamapublichealth.gov forward slash IMM. A look at the defensive statistics is brought to you by Cook's Pest Control and Centricon. You don't have to live with termites. 
Back at Neville Arena, Auburn leads 64-39 over Alabama State, 10-33 to go. Defensive stats, Auburn has forced 15 turnovers in the ball game. There are eight steals. The Tigers have blocked three shots. And defensively, here in the second half, Auburn is allowing, uh, well, they're allowing just 41% uh, shooting, 5 of 12, but 0 of 3 from long range is Alabama State. Tigers have defended the three-point line very well. Hornets have managed just 3 of 16 from beyond the arc in the game. Auburn would like Alabama State to stick to the three-point line. The Hornets, what little success they've been able to get in the second half, Andy, has come when they've driven to the basket. They've been able to finish at the rim, uh, whereas they've not been able to connect from long range. 0 of 3 from 3 in the second half. And just 3 of 16 in the game. And for Auburn, offensively, 2 of 7 to start the first half, 2 of 8 to start the second half. Tigers finish shooting 67%. They didn't finish the half at six, but after the two for seven start, they made two thirds of their shots to close the first half. Alabama State ball out of the timeout break range, open left corner three, good. Set shot, set play coming out of the timeout. They're able to get uh, range free in that left corner. First three of the second half for Alabama State, 64-42 Tigers. Holloway, Berman, Holloway, Caldwell, KD. Down the lane, KD, off the glass, nobody's fouled. Well, he almost made that. T.J. Oh, Matlock just picked up his third foul. And KD Johnson is at the line for two. 11 points on the night for KD. His 53rd career double-figure scoring game. And he went over 1,000 points in his career in the first half. Free throw is good. He's a really good free throw shooter. He's going to help Auburn as this season goes on. His ability to draw contact and stay under control on his way to the basket. Katie's second free throw is good. Rattled in. He looks out of control, but he's not. 13 tonight for KD. 66-42 Tigers. We're at the midway mark of the second half. Hines on the wing. Parker to the corner for range. Skip pass to the wing for Madlock. 15 on the shot clock. Madlock pull up jumper good. Oh. Seven for Madlock. 66-44 Tigers. Take that eight for Madlock. Excuse me. Holloway. Cardwell. Left wing KD. Inside the arc, KD Johnson. Free ball, KD. Air ball. Berman got the rebound. Dribbles out of traffic to the top for Holloway. Nine to shoot. Holloway straight away. Screen from Cardwell. Left wing, four to shoot. Hayden. Fade away three. Nope. Didn't draw iron. Shot clock violation against Auburn. Number 12, Denver Jones. KD Johnson out, Denver Jones in. He joins Dylan Cardwell, Leor Berman, Jalen Williams, and Aiden Holloway on the floor for the Tigers. 9-12 in the second. Tigers up by 22. Hines between the circles. Works through a double team, drives to the hole. Hines blocked from behind by Cardwell. Rebounded by Akin and he put it in. His first field goal of the night trims the lead to 20. 8.53 in the second half. Holloway off the right side. Eight, top of the circle, Cardwell. Couple dribbles with the left hand. Hands there to Jalen. Crossover dribble, Jalen down the lane. Hang, shoots. It's no good, but he was fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Foul will go against Kendall Parker, his fourth. I like the assertiveness there from Jalen Williams, and I think that's what serves Auburn well as you get ready to go into conference play in a few weeks is, is Jalen recognizing a one-on-one -on -one matchup and taking it with authority to the bucket. He gets a couple here. First free throw, good. Auburn basketball brought to you by Auburn Opelika Tourism. Start your next visit to the Plains at aotourism.com. First point in the second half for Jalen Williams. He has 13 on the night. Now needs four points for 1,000 in his Auburn career. Now three. Free throw is good. 
inbound range, saves it from going out of bounds and gets it back to Madlock. And now Sean Smith will bring it up to four for Alabama State. Across midcourt with one second to spare. Smith against Berman. Parker to Madlock, top of the circle, Smith. Screen, Walker, left wing Madlock, eight to shoot. Picked up by Berman in a switch, five to shoot. Madlock drives, pull up, three ball, no. Rebound out of bounds off of Alabama State, Auburn ball. Boy. Jalen Williams is a three ball away from a thousand points in his career as Madlock checks out of the game for Alabama State. Inbound Holloway. Works against Smith to bring it up the floor. Denver just went one-on-one -on -one against the 6'10 Walker for that rebound and was able to hold his own. Cardwell at the top, bounce pass, Jalen, low post, lost it, foul. Foul goes against Kendall Parker. That is the fourth on William on Parker. And Jalen Williams shoots free throws when we come back. And he'll shoot two because Auburn's in the double bonus. 7.56 in the second. Auburn 68. Alabama State 46. This is the Auburn Sports Network from Playfly. The night before the Music City Bowl, party it up with the Auburn Sports Network. Join the crew live from the Wild Horse Saloon in Nashville for a special edition of Tiger Talk. With appearances from head football coach Hugh Freeze to recap National Signing Day and preview the matchup against Maryland. That's a special Music City Bowl edition of Tiger Talk at a special time, 7.30 p.m. Central, Friday, December 29th, on your home for Auburn football. The Auburn Sports Network. Kaneka Sausage is a fan favorite for tailgating, always great on the grill, and it's the official sausage dog and hot dog of the Auburn Tigers. Kaneka Sausage is made from the finest cuts of pork, their patented blend of seasonings, and smoked over a pure hickory fire for that true southern flavor. Be sure to visit the Kaneka Gift Shop in Evergreen, Alabama, right off I-65 at exit 96. Enjoy a crowd-pleasing Kaneka Sausage dog while watching the Tigers and make Kaneka part of your game day. Kaneka Sausage, since 1947, a real winner. How are you the ultimate Auburn fan? Because I got this air horn installed in my throat. Pretty sick, right? Yes. You look really sick. What doctor would even do this? Doctor? I did this myself. I mean, I can't swallow whole food, but still. Wait, what? Just got to plow through it. Hey, can I get a couple of soups up there? Uh, what about some caramel tea? Don't be that guy. Get a fan card. The smart way to be the ultimate Tigers fan. Just go to AuburnCards.com. Welcome back to Neville Arena. Jacob Hillman here courtside as the Tigers lead the Hornets 68 to 46 uh, with a few, with eight minutes at the under eight timeout in the second half. Check out the Yellowwood scoreboard as Texas A&M is putting away Houston Christian up 60-31. Hayden Hefner has 24 points at the under eight. It, again, between number 13, Illinois, and Missouri, it's 33 to 18. Terrence Shannon Jr. has 13 points for the Illini. And Allen Fieldhouse, number two, Kansas, is starting to pull away from Yale. It's 57, 58 to 47 with 16, with 6.14 to go in that ball game. Back to Andy Burcham and Brad Law. Jacob, thank you. 7.56 to go in the second half here. And Auburn at the free throw line for two. Leading by a score of 68-46, and it's Jalen Williams, who needs three points to reach 1,000. Katie Johnson went over 1,000 points in his career in the first half. Jalen's first free throw is good. 15 on the night for Jalen. He leads all, or he leads Auburn's in scores. Range with 16 leads everybody. And now Jalen is one point away from 1,000 in his career. Auburn presses, inbound in the backcourt. Hines to Smith. So both of their point guards on the floor right now. 70 to 46 Tigers. Left wing Parker to range. At the top it's Parker. Down the lane Smith, ball deflected on the wing by Jalen Williams. Alabama State ball 13 to shoot for the Hornets. 7.40 in the second. Auburn 70, Hornets 46. In the corner, down to the low post range. Reverse, blocked by Broom. Out of there, Jalen. 
Trey Donaldson drives. Lease for Jalen. 4,000. There it is. And Auburn with two that goes over the 1,000 point mark tonight. And a steal by Brew. To Moore. Ahead Donaldson. Brew. No, it's Jalen. Left hand hammer. No question he's over a thousand points now. 74-46, Tigers approaching seven. And that brings them to their feet here at Neville Arena. Ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas to you. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Top of the circle, Smith. Left hand dribbled into the key, picks it up. Top of the circle, range. Crossover, three ball, range. Didn't get it, Broom rebounds. That's the ninth rebound for Janai in the game. Yeah, he's one. One rebound away from another double-double, which would be his 51st in his extraordinary career. Donaldson, left wing, looks at Smith, drives top of the circle, free throw line, right wing, Jalen, a three, didn't get it. Rebound, Broom, there's a double-double, back up and nobody's fouled. So Broom with his 51st double-double here tonight. And I think Jalen is going to come out and listen to the crowd when he does. Cheney Johnson will come in after the first free throw by Janai Broom. Katie Johnson over 1,000 in the first half. Jalen Williams over 1,000 in the second. Broom's free throw is good. And now Jalen comes out and listen to this crowd. made that he's gone over a thousand points in his historic career as Auburn's all-time winningest player. It'll go to 95 here tonight. We're going to talk to Jalen and Katie after the game. Free throw by Broom. Good. Janai a double-double, the 51st of his Auburn career. Tigers up by 30, 76-46. Smith across midcourt for Alabama State. Right hand dribble, Smith. Waits for a screen from Aachen. Gets some separation, pull up jumper, didn't get it. Rebound, uh, Cheney Johnson. Bounce pass ahead for Donaldson. It's taken away by Smith. The other way for Alabama State. Puts it up and gets fouled by Cheney. And Smith will go to the line to shoot two for Alabama State with the 5.52 mark of the second half. Tony is not going to, Tony Madlock is not going to allow his team to, to give up or slow down. Smith did a really nice job there anticipating the first move after the pass down here on this other end, getting a hand in there for the steal. 16 turnovers tonight for Auburn. Free throw by Smith. Good. What a special night. You got three days before Christmas, Alabama State in town, couple of games before SEC plays. Students are not in, in on campus, but a terrific crowd yeah. with some great memories leaving here tonight. Smith's second free throw is good. 5.52 in the second half. Smith comes out for Alabama State. And Hines is back in for the Hornets, and they'll press. Inbound Donaldson. He'll work it up the floor, gets it to midcourt for Janai. Drives, free throw line, down the lane, ball oh. knocked out of his hand. Oops. Here's Madlock, behind the back dribble to midcourt. Off the left side. Top of the circle, Hines. Throws the ball on the right wing for Parker. Drives on Denver Jones, bumps him twice. Goes up for the shot, didn't get it, rebound Broom. Janai looks for an outlet. Across midcourt, leaves it for Trey Donaldson. 76-48, Tigers 5-16 in the second half. Janai, 14 points, 11 rebounds. He has it top of the circle. Right wing for Chris Moore. Low post, broom, give and go. Up, nobody's fouled. The coaching staff has developed Janai in the last season and, and now getting into the halfway point of this one into so much of a smoother offensive player than he was when he got here. He came in known for his defense, but they've done a nice job developing his offensive game. He catches the ball well, finishes well. 
Free throw is missed. For every Auburn three-pointer, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services donates $25 to Coach Pearl's Outlive Cancer Initiative, benefiting local cancer patients and treatment centers. Six threes on the night for Auburn. Second free throw from Janai. Got it. Broom, 14 points, 11 rebounds in 20 minutes of action tonight. Lines across midcourt. Now to range, drive, backdoor pass, didn't get there. Stolen by Denver Jones. Ahead for Chris Moore. Drives to the hole. Chris, up, no, but he got bumped. He goes down hard. He's fine. He'll go to the line to shoot two. And Janai started that break. He got a hand in there and, and deflected the pass that was headed for underneath the cylinder. And uh, Janai got the hand in there, started that break for all. Chris Moore gets a couple. Senior out of West Memphis, Arkansas. Two points on that. He scored the first two points of the night for Auburn. Free throw from Chris. Good. Jalen Williams has 10 field goal attempts tonight, and, and Auburn was perhaps intentionally trying to get him past the 1,000-point mark. But the balance of shot attempts otherwise makes Auburn is one of the things that makes Auburn a really dangerous team. Moore knocks home the second. Broom has seven attempts. Holloway has six. Three different guys have five apiece. Inbound in the backcourt, Octave. And now Hines brings it up the floor. 79-48, Tigers. Hines, right wing, give and go on the wing, goes to the baseline. Pull up jumper, it was blocked back in his face. Ball is loose and Madlock is fouled near midcourt by Trey Donaldson. And that puts Madlock at the line for a one bonus. First foul on Trey. Madlock at the line for, for a one and bonus. His career high was 25 points against North Carolina A&T back in November. About a month ago tonight. Free throw rattles home. Five of his nine points have come from the charity stripe, and all nine of his points have come in the second half. Yeah, it's clear Auburn targeted him defensively. He's only two of eight from the floor tonight. He makes both. Jas yeah, Steven Walker comes in and replaces Micah Octave. 437 in the second. Tigers up 79 to 50. Johnson and Donaldson work against the zone press. Moore, Donaldson, no look, Janai up, missed it, got it back, goes up, foul. Janai will get a couple. Foul called against Jas Steven Walker, it's his third. And Janai back at the charity stripe for two. 15 points tonight for Janai. Free throw, good. Leading score for the Tigers is Jalen Williams with 20. I gotta think his night's done. Yeah. Probably the same for KD. Second free throw, Janai. He didn't get it. Rebound to Madlock up the left side for range. Madlock hands to Smith. 4-14 in the second. Left-hand pass. Parker right back to Smith. Out to the top for range. Right wing, Madlock. Seven to shoot. Pushes off of Donaldson, gets off the shot and scores. Terrific individual player. The footwork, ball work, smooth shot. Just a really solid player. 3-51 in the second half. Auburn up 80-52. to Donaldson. Right side to the wing. Cheney, low post for Moore. Ball is kicked, and we go to a timeout break. 3.42 to go in this one. Auburn 80, Alabama State 52. Auburn basketball continues in a moment. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our home. When you step onto the court and into the spotlight. 
the moment to show that hard work and long days pay off. Because when that final shot leaves your hands and we leave our seats, that powerful moment connects us all. Alabama Power is a proud supporter of the Auburn Tigers. Power for a better Alabama. We've all fallen into boring routines. We just keep doing what has to get done. Isn't it time to escape the old routine and make time for yourself? Make time to go out with old friends. Make time to add excitement back into your life. Make time to feel like a winner again. Life is more fun when you live it. So what are you waiting for? Escape every day at Wind Creek Casino and WindCreekCasino.com. When you live in SEC country, you feel it everywhere you go. The traditions and rivalries surround you. As much as you celebrate the game, Regions celebrates your financial wins even more. And like SEC fans, we'll never quit. Because in an SEC world, we're the SEC Bank. Regions, official bank of the SEC, member FDIC. Keep it here after the game for the Regions Bank Post Game Show with final stats and analysis, plus comments from Coach Pearl. Now, back to the game. Welcome back to Neville Arena. Tigers lead Alabama State 80-42. to Make that 80-52 to with 3.42 remaining in the second half. Ain't no one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM SEC Radio. Tune in for news, talk, and analysis from the offseason through the regular season into the postseason. Get a free trial, Sirius XM.US slash SEC Radio 2023. 90s on nine ain't bad either. I've Just heard of it. <laughs> uh, and now they make the announcement of Jalen going over 1,000 points tonight. He's six of six at the free throw line. And this Alabama State team, we've mentioned their physicality. They foul a lot. Auburn's gotten to the line 30 times, and they've made 24 of those free throws. A little bit of a, a water shower over there for Jalen <laughs> on the sideline. And he and KD sit side by side, both over 1,000 points tonight. Moore, the inbound, down the left side of the lane to the wing, and Moore was fouled. Driving, he was trying to kick it to Denver Jones. And uh, Chris goes to the line for two. Tigers in the double bonus. Auburn will take a four-game win streak into Christmas. The Tigers will be nine and two. Auburn about to pick up its 50th consecutive non-conference game here at Neville Arena. 44th consecutive sellout tonight. Moore makes the first free throw. To win a lot of games shooting 80% on 30 plus free throw attempts. Chris knocks home both. He'll come out. Chad Baker Mazar again. Three thirty-six on the county clock in the second. Tigers up 82-52. This lead has hovered around 30 most of the second half. Smith, pull up, jumper over Cheney, missed it. Rebound. Broom. Baseball pass ahead, Donaldson to the hole. Try to wrap around, they never got there to Cheney. And here's Madlock the other way for Alabama State. He drives and banks it in. And I'll tell you what, T.J. Madlock is a special player. He has 14 tonight. That was a, all in the second half. That was an unbelievable defensive play. He knew what Donaldson was going to try to do and then took it from him. Donaldson put it up over Madlock, he missed it. Katie Johnson, Dylan Cardwell, Aiden Holloway coming in at the next break. Madlock, pull up jumper at the left, he knocked it home. Well, he's at his season average, has 16 points here tonight. Donaldson ahead from Baker Mazzara. Back to Donaldson. 20 to shoot for Auburn. Tigers up 82 56. Baker Mazzara, right wing broom, head fake at three, penetrates, kicks it to the wing. Donaldson, head fake at three. Drives, ball knocked out of his hand, he got it back. He's in traffic to the corner. Janai for three, didn't get it. Range gets the rebound. Up the right sideline, front of the Alabama State bench. Range to Smith. 
10 in the second half. Auburn up 82-56. Smith between the circles. Bounce pass down the left side. It's Walker. Walker tries to back in against Chaney Johnson. Fade away. It's good. 6-0 run by Alabama State. Tigers have missed their last four shots. 82-58. Donaldson has it, loses it out of bounds. But it was such last by Alabama State, and I think Auburn got a break. Donaldson will come out. Aiden Holloway is in. Katie Johnson is in for the Tigers. Cardwell replaces Broom. Denver Jones comes out. Holloway, KD, Cheney, Dillon, and uh, Chad Baker Mazzaro. What a finish well. A minute 44 before a little bit of a break for the holidays. So, you know, the coaches want these guys to finish well over the final minute 44. 82 58 Tigers. Holloway at the top, Cheney. Two Holloway between the circles. Seven to shoot. Right wing KD. Down to the baseline. Backs it up near the corner. Three ball. KD didn't, got rim but didn't get it to fall. Rebound to Alabama State. That's five straight misses for the Tigers. Left wing Madlock. Whistle and a timeout caught by Alabama State for a lineup change. I do. As Jabari Williams will come in. Gives us a chance to pause 10 seconds for station identification of the Auburn Sports Network. Thirty-second timeout, I think, has been extended to a full, with 118 to go in the second half. Tigers lead at 82-58. Auburn will take a few days off for Christmas. Get everyone home and back safely, and then get ready for Chattanooga here, December 30th. It's an eight o'clock game. Brad, along with Sonny Smith. And Jacob with the call on the Auburn Sports Network starting at 7.30 on Saturday the 30th. You know, looking at a few of the trends here of late, because Auburn has missed its last five shots, their percentage has fallen under 50%. Auburn's at 48% shooting. Tigers average shooting 46%. So you know, you'd think they're going to raise that at least a little bit coming out of this game. They're at 82 points. That's one point away from their season average. Auburn averages 83 points per ball game. So this game hasn't quite, especially in the second half, hasn't had a lot of flow to it. Some of that's Alabama State's defensive style. But still the numbers are sort of right in line with what Auburn has done this year. Alabama State out of bounds down the left sideline. 22 on the shot clock for the Hornets. 118 to go, Tigers safely on top, 82-58. Hines. Backs it up. Picks up the dribble. Now to Parker between the circles. Working on Holloway, goes down and a foul. It's gonna go against Aiden. That was as much Parker just losing his balance as Aiden causing the foul. Aiden and asked for a explanation. Here comes Carter Silvera, Jalen Harper, Blake Michalik, Leor Berman, and a Darren Scott. All eight of Auburn's wins and now nine will have been by an average of greater than 15 points per game. These guys are averaging over a minute of game action per contest this year. They're, they're coming in regularly. Parker's free throw is airborne and good. The only lefty on the Alabama State roster. Right, the foul, that one away, Brad. The second free throw is also good. <laughs> foul it way away. One minute to go. Silvera to Michalik. Bounce pass ahead for Berman. 
Liard drives into the lane, down the left side of the lane. Now to Sobera drives in the hole, goes up and gets blocked. And Sobera carried the ball out of bounds. He, he tried to wipe out some of the Tiger paws. Yeah. That'd have been a heck of a way to go into the Christmas break, wouldn't it? Everybody's all right, though. 82 to 60, Tigers. It's been a physical game. Indeed. 35 seconds in the ball game. Hines around the perimeter. Parker drives, losing. Michalik on the break. Off the right side. Jalen Harper, three. No good. Rebound out of bounds off of Auburn. In the final 18 seconds of the second half. Oh, I thought he had it. I thought he had it. So did J so did Jalen. One of two graduates this semester. He and Dylan Cardwell. Final 12 seconds to go in this one. Hines with five. With three. Guarded by Harper and a foul against Jalen. <laughs> All right. 1.9 seconds. Bruce is teaching Jalen Harper <laughs> at midcourt. Free throw is up and it's good for Hines. They're going to end this game on a run. It's a 9-0 run right now. Auburn led by as many as 31. Second free throw good. Final one second. This one's over. Merry Christmas. Tigers go to the Christmas break with a four-game win streak. Auburn wins by 20 over Alabama State. Final score, Auburn 82. Alabama State 62. Four-game win streak heading to Christmas. Next up, Chattanooga on the 30th. Again, your final, Auburn 82, Alabama State 62. Jalen Williams scored 20 points to lead the Tigers tonight, and you can score points too with the Chick-fil-A app. Download or open the app to place an order, earn and redeem points with the Chick-fil-A app. War Eagle and Eat More Chicken. Stay tuned. Regions Bank Post Game Show is next. This is the Auburn Sports Network from PlayFly. AuburnTigers.com is the official website of Auburn Athletics. Read the latest features.